Welcome to episode 116 of the Filthy Casual MMA Watch Party. I am Dr. Evil Genius, soon to be joined by Mrs. Evil, and she is ready. We are here in support of UFC Atlantic City, Blanchfield versus Fiero. All right. So we got we got a jo joysy. We got a joysy fight card. Michael Bisbing and Paul Felder on color commentary, which is probably for the best. Uh, moving very quickly, uh, our first fight: Angel Pacheco versus Kaolan uh, Lofren. That looks uh, Irish. Yep, and the Irishman is a five to one favorite. Good God. <laughs> uh, next up is Andrei Petrovsky versus Jacob Malkoon. I'm pretty sure somebody's getting knocked out in that fight. Victoria Dudakova versus Melissa Gatto is up next. Can't really say that I, I care too much about this fight. At light heavyweight, we have Ibo Aslan versus Anton Turkalsh. Uh, worst division in the UFC. Uh, maybe these guys can uh, help make it better. Uh, Dennis Buzushka versus Connor Matthews at featherweight. We have a catch weight. Looks like somebody failed to make the featherweight limit. Julio Arce versus Herbert Burns. And it is Julio Arce that failed to make weight. Find 20% of his purse. So there's that. We have uh, the chick with the eye that points in the wrong direction versus Lupi Godinez. Can't really say that I care too much about this fight, but uh, this, this fight might actually end up being a high-quality matchup at women's strawweight. Okay. Our feature prelim is late. Nate Landwehr versus Jamal Emmers. Difficult to say what to expect as far as the quality of this fight. Nate Landwehr is always going to bring it. Jamal Emmers is very inconsistent. Don't know which version we're going to get of him. He is stepping in on short notice. Notice uh, replacing Pat Sabatini. We lead off the main card with Chidi and Jokwani versus Reese McKee at 170. One of my favorites, Bill Algio, fights Kyle Nelson at 145. Then we have two middleweight fights. We have uh, guys that should be in the cage. Uh, Nur Sultan uh, Ruzi Boev versus Cedricas Dumas. I can't wait to see him fight again. And then a fight involving two fighters that should not be in the cage. Chris Weidman and Bruno Silva. Both of these guys should have been released from the UFC a long time ago. So how they get a spot above Cedricas Dumas uh, I, I beats the hell out of me. Our co-main event is Vicente Luque, the silent assassin versus Joaquin Buckley. You know Joaquin Buckley as the guy that kicked the head off of the current PFL champion. <laughs> so that just goes to show you the quality of what's going on at Bellator slash PFL. Their guy, their champion, got his head kicked off by Joaquin Buckley, uh, who is not even really a contender at this point in his career. Our main event, Aaron Blanchfield versus Manon Fierro. So one of the things that we do here on TSP is that we ask you, if you are watching, to please, in the comment section below, please give us your give us your predictions for as many fights as you feel like you want to make predictions for. We will save those comments, and then at the end of the show, we will see how many you got right. All right, so we've got the.
uh hopefully this will not be a boring uh fight card i have not had my nap yes i know it seems like i'm in the first grade maybe even kindergarten but i have not had a nap uh because i have not crashed after my mega long do du- uh double workout today oh wow that left jab from pacheco it's a piston. This is the kind of jab you want to see. Now, for you uh, WWE fans, somebody tell me tell me that Lofgren doesn't remind you of J.D. McFlurry. <laughs> please, please tell me. All right, let's get to your comments. Let's get in there. David Banner says, I have Kyle Nelson versus Bill Algeo as fight of the night. My picks are Reese McKee, Kyle Nelson, Ruzi Bov, Bruno Silva, Buckley, and Blanchfield by stoppage. Salute to Mason DeMaio. Salute to you. Thank you for joining us today. David Banner asks, asks, what do you think about Chamaya, the MFer who barely passed the test of a 170-er, now getting his shot at a number one contender's fight? Uh, I am a big fan of Chamaev. I know that you're not, but I am still a fan of Chamaev. I don't want to see him fighting Whitaker because I'm an even bigger fan of Robert Whitaker. Robert Whitaker has worked very hard to get back into contention only to fight uh, Boars. These are two fighters that I would rather not see lose at this stage in their careers. And I'm not really particularly happy about the matchup, but you know these things are coming. I don't like the Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway fight because one of them is never going to be a contender again. And I like both guys. so. Uh, there are a lot of guys that I root for that are taking fights against each other. I don't particularly love it, but it is the fight game. We don't do that Al Jermaine Sterling versus Marab garbage here, right? We don't avoid matchups because, you know, you know we, th- these are not the matchups we want to see. We will watch these matchups, and we will deal with them as they come. And we'll deal with the fallout, and then hopefully whoever, you know, comes out um, you know, whoever comes out as a victor, hopefully they can go on to do great things. JL, he's working hard. Usman unranked, by the way, in his previous win was unranked Kevin Holland. Uh, but Usman was number one at 170, so let's not uh, let's not disrespect him that way. JL's got Emmers, Weidman, Dumas, Belt Buckle, and Aaron Blanchfield. We'll see. We better be watching Mania next week, not that rubbish card. Actually, we're going to be trying to handle both events at the same time on the road. So it will be TSP on the road. Actually, not even on the road. We're, we're on another continent. Um, so we will do our best to... We will do our very best to bring you as much entertainment as we can. So thank you for coming by. Lewis versus No Cemento, fight night main in a couple of months. I'm feeling sick. I think uh, No Cemento gets knocked out there. Okay. Thank you for coming through. And Mason DeMaio. Mason DeMaio, thank you so, so much. I don't really have a great... Um, I don't really have a a great sound bite for you, but uh, yeah, very very happy to have you as a new member here on T S P. So yeah, that's some cool stuff. Yeah.
So much, much love for you guys. We're at the end of the first. The quality I haven't seen these fight analysts talk about for Jamal Hill is that besides his arm breaking, he has constantly fought up in rankings and competition and not only hang, he stopped all of his opponents. Yeah, I just don't think that they really – I think Jamal Hill comes off as a fighter that is not as skilled as he actually is. He does not look like a fighter that is supremely skilled, and we do have some supremely skilled fighters if <laughs> – their fight IQ is lacking. Looking at you, Yuri Prochaska. We do have some guys at the top of the 205 division that have uh, elite level talent, but uh, subpar fight IQ. Um, the champion has poor fight IQ. The number one contender has uh, poor fight IQ. Um, Jamal Hill probably has some of the best fight IQ. Um, right now at 205, it's just Jamal Hill just he just does not look as talented as he actually is. Wow, we got blood, and we've got no Dan Jensen. No Dan Jensen, and we got the Irishman uh, leaking. I swear he reminds me of J.D. McDonough. Oh, nice overhand right for Pacheco. Yeah, people, we're looking for uh, your for your predictions for today's fights. I don't know about some of the be some of the best fight IQ, but I think Jamal has the best instinct for a finish at the top of two hundred five. He chases it hard, and when he sees someone hurt, Alex takes his time and wants to break you. Yeah, but he makes a lot of stupid decisions. You know, Jamal Hill is also more patient than you give him credit for, David. He's more patient than you give him credit for. It's just that. He gets the finish. Do you think that he's just hunting the finish? But he does, he does do so very, uh, very intelligently. Yeah, they're gonna stop this fight right here. I'm surprised that the referee did not uh, did not stop the fight there. We're celebrating Mason DeMaio, the newest member of the TSP family. Oh, he's going to try to sneak that arm underneath. Nope. Oh, he just folded him over. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why Lochran did, did, did Lochran. I don't know why, why he forced him to his back when he clearly has a much better, a much better grasp of the situation. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, should, this should end the fight right here. Pacheco is really hanging in there. And he's trying to turn him. Oh, yeah, see, see this is what you got to respect. Oh, and he gets back half guard. Wow, Pacheco. I thought it was about to be the end of the fight. Pacheco gets back half guard. Uh, Lachlan really did um, a really good job of maintaining the position until just now when Pacheco was able to get back half guard. Uh, at this point in, in the fight, I gotta say, um, 
I gotta say that there is um, a 10 8 round here so far, unless Pacheco can get to his feet and start getting his uh, offense. Wow, this dude is, is made of steel. And he's still pumping that jab out. If Pacheco comes back and, and wins this fight, that'll be something really, really crazy. Lachran really does look like the largest dwarf I've ever seen. The referee would have been very, very much within his rights to end the fight when it was on the ground. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely a decent first, but um, a lot of discretion from the referee there. A lot, a lot of discretion there. Um, guys, give me your, give me your score for this round. Um, I'm leaning more towards a 10-8 round. Um, it, it just looks more like a 10-8 round to me. Um, anybody disagree? Let me know in the comments section down below. Going into round three. I swear he looks like uh, JD McDonuts. It looks like Pacheco's in trouble here. Oh, that's a nasty leg kick. And Lockwin is, is trying to unlock his leg. Pacheco does not give in. Oh, wow. In order to save Pacheco's future, the ref might want to think about stopping this fight. I know he's not going to, but that dude has taken a crazy amount of damage. Oh, big elbows. He should have kept raining those elbows. We've seen guys get knockouts recently in the clinch. But dude's going in for single legs. Angel Pacheco might be one of the toughest men alive. Obviously, he already is because he's in the UFC. But that's toughness above toughness. His, his, uh, his jaw has been tapped a bunch of times. His calf, oh, yeah, he's screwed. He is screwed. Laughlin is going to take him right off his feet with that next calf kick. Yep, he had to go back to his lead leg. He's showing that lead leg. He's heavy on it. And Lachlan is just touching him up. And he's going to slam that calf again. Watch. Oh, what a jumping knee from Pacheco.
Oh, he, he's in on the double, and he got his hands locked. He gets the takedown. Oh. Yep, dumped right on his backside, leaning on him. Going to get that shoulder to the mat. Yep, I hear the, the chair. I hear the chair rolling. My entrance music. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Never a graceful entrance. What nickname are you putting in there? <laughs> what did you put? <laughs> I can't see it. What does it say? You'll see you later. Nah. Oh, Pacheco. Wow. Now he's getting styled on because he can barely move. He's punch drunk. Unfortunate. Oh, wow. Another shot to the calf. Wow. Left hook, Pacheco. Was it light? Oh, yeah. Oh, another flying knee. Oh, then the takedown. Pacheco really tried to win this fight. This is the most spirited 30 to 27, 30 to 26 loss I've ever seen. This dude was still trying to take Lockwood's head off. Hey, check that out. Hey, guys. <laughs> this is who you married. Pacheco is gonna go broke for is gonna go for broke. Thanks, He's gonna go for broke. He really wanted the knockout. So we have a name for our uh, March announcement. Mason is gonna be in our uh, March March announcement. Yay! But thank you, Mason, and welcome to the family. family. I was going to say something else. Wait, it's 32 minutes and I can say it. Welcome to hell. Imagine not being able to say hell on YouTube. I listen. Oh, God. I, I don't even know. My guy, Jerry Brown in the building. What's up, dude? The dude that jumps out the gym. <laughs> he jumped so far out the gym. He jumped to California. Yeah. Howdy, sir. Yeah. The sun is probably still up over there. Actually, we still have a little sun right here. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not all coming. gone yet. It's not, um, all gone. It's not all gone yet. David said Bruce's suit is nice and simple. I haven't seen it yet. Look at it. He yep, up. we will. We are celebrating our newest channel member, Mason DeMaio. Well, it's all the work in the gym, man. It's all the work in the gym. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I was doing that Google Translate earlier, I was mm -hmm. like, I hope I'm not typing anything offensive. <laughs> Please, Google, don't mess this up. Yeah, you're missing out. On, you're missing out on a lot, JB. You're missing out on a lot. Yeah. Yep. I knew there was going to be a thirty twenty six in there. That is the best performance I've ever seen from somebody who lost with a thirty to twenty six. Pacheco is one of the toughest guys I've seen. That dude was not giving up for nothing. Mm. That was that was that was an impressive ass whooping he took. He took he took the ass whooping impressively. Oh, I saw uh, disturbed here. Yeah, by you. It was disturbed Chevelle. I forgot who the third band was. Oh. In Atlantic City. Gotcha. Mm. 
in the ditch you can go ship and bargain with fight packs because there's a lot of fights in the car. Sleep on the job. Andre Petrov. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait i missed it yeah you did damn it and i left it up there i, I left, wasn't paying attention i, left it, I up wasn't paying attention i left it up there yeah Let you weren't you weren't paying attention <laughs> i was looking oh did you see the 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 link that i sent you earlier yeah you gotta be quicker than that sure. <laughs> hold on let me warn you to hands up for it You gotta be quicker than that. Hold on. Oh. oh hey, hey, hey. I see it now. <laughs> Look at the link I sent you earlier. Oh boy. No, I, I did watch it. That I sent to both of you. You gotta be quicker than that. I am not. <laughs> I know I said no fight packs, so come on. Or they're probably walking out to the... Uh, I mean, they have to sell us uh, pharmaceuticals. Okay. I don't know why they insist on every commercial is for some sort of pharmaceutical. Oh, I have a question for the TSP gang, those who are in the chat. If you use a VPN, can you tell us which one you use or if you have recommendations for a VPN? <clears throat> Since we'll be traveling... Um, the streaming services that we use to watch WWE and UFC events, they are US based only streaming services. Um, so they won't be available when we are in London. So I do not want to sign up for UFC Fight Pass because we don't have to pay for that. And I also don't want to have to pay for WWE Network um, because when we come back home less than a week later, we're not going to use it. Right, we already have uh, yeah, Peacock. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, um, and Peacock and ESPN are not available in Europe, in, uh, you know, London. But if they think we're in New York, right. it might be so available. So if anyone uses a VPN or if you have any recommendations, um, we very much appreciate it. There are so many to choose from. So, yeah. If you have any recs, please let us know. Recs means... Recommendation. Recommendation. Easy, easy. And if not, I'll just find an article that says these are the top ones. And It is like no clue. All right. Appreciate it anyway. Figure it out of you. One of the articles I read, uh, number one, their top was NordVPN. Yeah, yeah everybody's paid to say that. Yeah. Um, but if everybody uses NordVPN, then how do you have any space on the service? I'll give you a little space. Oh, I like that. This is a nice one. Yeah, that is a that is a nice getup. A little bit. It of looked like you took uh, a little bit of uh, a cue from the last last week's announcer. Mm. <laughs> you who shall not be named without a yep a five dollar five dollar. <laughs> Especially when we're talking about JL's monopoly money.
Yeah, but this one's off. I like that it has a, a bit of a print on it instead of a solid black. Andre oh. Petrovsky. Gary Copeland looked like he can go in the cage and fuck somebody up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody's getting knocked out yeah. in this fight. You're not going to get any submissions. And I'd be very surprised if this went to a decision. Do you think uh, Petrovsky's here is going to get him knocked out or is going to fight him? You know, my question is being answered but, as an athlete. But he has a, a Russian assassin's name. I know, Petrovsky. But look, but look at the hair. Is that instant knockout? Hard, it's hard to say which one is going to, which Dan, one's going to can maybe might cancel out the other. You know. I think Dan would agree that uh, instant knockout. Where is Dan? Um, Where you at, Dan? Hopefully, you're not in the hospital getting stitches again. Yeah, for real. Other or, dudes or, better or, be getting going, stitches. Going to prison. What's all these dwarf looking people on the spike card? The ref the ref in this one? The the winner of the last one? Mm -hmm. He keeps getting countered every time he goes in. He doesn't move his head. Yeah. He's getting catched every single time with the counter. Catched? Catched it. You know, you know, you cannot be disrespecting the Queen's English anymore. I'm going to butcher that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he 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 smacked that snot by. See, he's yeah, touching it. Yeah. He's like, all right, come on, come on, but 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 you hurt my nose. But you hurt my nose. Yeah. Come, on, come on, but you hurt my nose. Bob <laughs> Coon looked mad funny. Oh man, now it looked like he's just snorting all kinds of cocaine in the cage. He's like, yo, what, what? Let's fight. Let me grab you. Got a little bit of a bloody nose. Yeah, that's what happens when you snort cocaine in the middle of a fight. No, the other one. Petrovsky. Petrovsky. You need to be the blood. Do you count that as an actual knockdown? I, I, was, I wasn't sure if that was a, a, a an actual... Knockdown. Mm. 
Wow, he really reached for that takedown. But it didn't look like an actual knockdown. It didn't look like he went down. I mean, if they count if they count it as him actually going down, then 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 yeah, knockdown. Well, I'm snorting. Yeah, I know. I know that the you know that a strike was involved, Dave. It, it, I'm wondering if they're going to count that as an actual knockdown. And of course, if they count it as a knockdown, then the round goes to the throws. What happened? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That was weird. We're just seeing commercial breaks right now. Is that far behind? Oh, yeah, we're way behind. Ah, fuck. Petrovsky got knocked the fuck out. Ah. All right, we'll, we'll see the replay. We completely missed it. Yeah. Dang it. Thanks, ESPN. But we were in a, another uh, I was like, another reality. You said you're behind. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> No, you're saying your ass is weird. My ass is weird. <laughs> the joke's right and <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand, like... I... I your instinct to try to get roasted <laughs> on the internet is is uncanny and oh, i just i just don't understand uh, we're waiting for the replay ah oh, they're reviewing the goal Brian's here yeah he, he was here earlier oh. he was one of the first people to uh comment Rain is here again. <laughs> he said the stream can be good. All right, replay now. Did he knock him out with his hip? Yeah, that okay. I see what you mean by weird. Like he was already turtling up as soon as he got on the floor. I don't even see. Yeah, it. he was already in a turtle position before the liver shot. Yeah, that's weird. So TKO by slamming your head against someone's hip. You didn't do that with your elbow, sir. Mm. 
He jammed his necks. How many necks does he have? Well, we need to figure out which bell and which neck. Well, that fight, this fight canceled. Dude. Well, we need high packs now because we're down to uh, normal, normal number of um, fights. How do you feel about that nickname? Which one? The Pleasure Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not You're not trying to hear that shit. Um, yeah. yeah, man. We're really happy to have you here, Ryan. Not I mean. Uh, As I was saying, now that we lost one, make space for five, five packs. Shout out to our newest member, Mason DeMaio. We'll put it out that shout out on Tuesday. Yep, we got to do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, let me know when you start getting the burger. Um, I think I'm behind on lunch. I could probably use uh, lunch food first mm -hmm. and then way later on. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I can uh, do the, the burger first because you'll want to like, you'll probably want to eat, right? And then, I mean, I'm not hungry right at this moment, oh, but kind of, I had a leave. Yes, we'll work it out. Yep. Pancakes. Yeah, so we'll work it out. This is not a good Rangers performance. Right. I know that they're well, plus I got time since jet lagged, but. All right, be right back. I'm yeah. going to get Dr. Evil late lunch. Okay. Yeah, still need to get the food in for, you know, reasons. Very, very poor Rangers performance here after two periods. We got Jeremy Lewis in the building. How are you doing today, sir?
Hey, what you know about Politia, Ryan Fry? What do you know about Politia? Talk to me. Hey, man, make your money, man. Hey, man, what you know about Politia, Ryan Fry? Word, let's go. Let's go. Dude, gotta ask you what your favorite album is and or favorite song in their discography. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Yeah, they are Texas, man. <laughs> yeah, they are a Texas-based band. The finale. Uh, the worst. I actually did not like uh, Remember That You Will Die for the, for the most part. I really, there, there are some nice songs on that album but it really is not my favorite album. I haven't listened to it for a while. Although I will tell you, I didn't like the ABC song with Sophia Black. I didn't really like it, but it's extremely catchy. Um, I don't like the, um, the the mumble rap thing, you know, the, the crossovers with that. Like if I wanted to listen to like really bad rap music, um, I could just kill myself. Instead, um, I don't want to hear that with my with my Polyphia. I would probably have to say my favorite album is Renaissance, with uh, Nightmare being a very very uh, important song to me because of someone that's very important to me. Um, some of the most fun music comes from uh, Muse. Um, New Levels, New Devils was okay. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good album. Uh, I also love Jason Richardson as a as a musician. When we went to when we went to see um, Death Clock and Baby Metal, Jason Richardson uh, opened, and he was tremendous. He was tremendous. Uh, yeah, we are talking about the band Polyphia. Um, I don't have an answer for you yet, JL, but talk to me in the Discord or hit me up on Discord. Um, because I do plan to, to, uh, to find out what's going on with this Andrew Huberman thing. I just don't have an answer for you right now, uh, simply because I don't have an answer for you right now. Um, Please don't let it be William Murderface. <laughs> Please. No, the last fight did not look, did not, uh, did not look, uh, I heard of the band Olivia. Sorry, I didn't see this, but haven't really been familiar with too much of their music. Hmm. Yeah, when it comes to Polyphia, man, um, when when you're because Polyphia, I found out about them. They opened for Coheed and Cambria, and it was the quickest that I searched for an opening band that I was listening to. I searched and immediately bought as much of their music as I could. At the time, they only had two albums. They had a Muse and they had Renaissance at the time. If I'm not mistaken.
Actually, they might have only had Muse. Muse might have been the only album, and they were about to release Renaissance. Yeah, ten. Yeah, this is a true statement. <laughs> this is a true statement. This is a true statement. That dude is a, is a is a freaking genius with the guitar. One of the things I really like about the album Muse is that they're at like eighty seven, um, Champagne. There's a couple of uh, James Franco. There's a couple of of songs on this album that remind me of classic uh, video game background music from like iconic games. There's there's a very video gamey feel to uh, to Muse. I, I I really. I really, really enjoyed their music, um, but I do believe their first two albums are their best. Um, yeah, their their um, their first two albums are their best. New levels. The thing is with, with Polyphia, and this is really goes for most bands. I don't want to hear any vocals from most bands. Just give me the riffs. Give me like some crazy drums. A, a nice groovy bass and shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear, you know, your 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 teenage angst. I, I don't care. You know, I, I I just I just don't care. And you know I just thank you. You know, I, I just wait. You you got strawberries out here? Oh, she she's 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 over here holding out on the strawberries. Damn, son! Wow, Orlis gave the ducks a business six to one. Good God! Yeah, man, like. You know, you're going to, you know, you know, I, I have to say, like, I, I, the, the math core that I've heard from, from, uh, from Philippia, I, I'm with it, man. Uh, I, but them doing like, you know, hey, we want to be super hip with the hood folks and like do rap music crossovers. It's awful. Then you're above that, Philippia. He goes, does this dude have titties? What's going on? Is he on steroids? It looks like he has gynecomastia. I'm over here sounding like Greg Doucette right now. This is what she was holding out on, guys. Some BS, man. Um, do we have, did you already put the, um, no, yeah. So well, we, we agree. We agree on this. Yeah. This dude's got gyno and I don't want to see some dudes nipples rocking like that, man. Yo, get him out of the UFC. He's cheating. Oh, uh, look at this. Look, look, look how awesome. <laughs> Well, well, Aw, that's very sweet. Thank you. That's just awesome. Yeah, I was reading the comments in the uh, kitchen. Very what's, nice. You what, got yourself a fellow. What's your uh, your opinion of Polyphia, Mrs. Evil? I like them. I would watch them again in a concert. Um, it's just, I do get alerts when they are um, in the playing area. in the area, but they're always part of the opening crew. Yeah, I'm yeah. Really yeah. I, I don't know. Opening for with. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I don't have to be like the biggest fan of the band that they're touring with, but if I'm going to spend that money, you know, I want to be somewhat familiar and kind of like the band that they're with. So I'm hoping that they um, headline sometime. Headline. Yeah. 
there's a few bands that are like that where I'm waiting for them to headline because the people that they're touring with, I'm like, nah, I'd rather just watch you play for an hour and a half than only watch you do mm -hmm. a 30 minute set and then mm -hmm. sit there for everyone else. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I like them and I'm waiting for them to do their own head. Coheed is opening up for some used to be popular band. I didn't buy tickets for that shit. Yeah, I didn't buy tickets for that shit. I'm not. I'm not gonna pay money to watch Cody play second fiddle to a band that that is not even half as good as them. I mean, if somebody gave me a free ticket, I would go and then leave after Coheed. <laughs> no, if someone gave me a free ticket, I would sit and watch Incubus. I like Incubus. Oh, yeah, I don't care. I don't. I, I, I do like Incubus. Yo, they're swinging and banging, y'all. But I think Incubus has reached um concert level where their tickets are really expensive, and I'm not, I don't want to pay that much for it. This dude kicked himself off his feet. Did he score a knockdown against himself? <laughs> What is it with this dwarf that didn't even fight? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, hopefully they have someone else because that seems exhausting. Just walking around the fighters for uh, fifteen minutes. Oh, when that just said like, was his he, facial expressions never more. It, it's oh, he's a gnome. That's a gnome. Was he the ref in the very last fight? Yes. Yeah, like I would think that that would impact his refing ability if he's doing back to back to back to back. Right. Possibly, but I think he's a garden gnome. Um, at least where they have the other guys where they cycle between them, so each one has uh, a chance to rest mm -hmm. in between the fights. Mm -hmm. um. mm. Oh yeah, we need we need the banner. The David banner. David banner. I see because the man isn't here. Yeah, what's going on with him? This is why. Oh wow, rock him, sock him, robots. He would be like, you guys are slacking, messing up on the job. What is going on here? Oh, I just did you hear did you hear that when the knife went through the work went through? Mm -hmm. Oh man. That's how you know. Come on, you hear that shit. That's a great salad. Thank you. Uh, he tried to be, come on. That would have been great if he got knocked out doing some dumb shit like that. You just don't like his nickname. Man, I don't know his nickname, but it's not important. That's not information I need. It's a pleasure. No! So where are we going to be for WrestleMania weekend? In London, England. We'll be in London. Oh, Jeremy. Do you use VPN? Wait, did you um his name incorrectly? Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not gonna answer me. He's, he's gonna cancel his memory. <laughs> so like, fuck you guys. <laughs> oh man. Aye, aye, aye. Jeremy. Do you use VPN? And if you do, which one? And if you don't, that's okay. I think I have one picked out that we're gonna use. Yes, we will be in London.
kick the shot. Oh, nice. Somebody getting knocked out. Ah, he... Aslan's eye is getting blown up. Not... Overhand right from Aslan. Uh, thank you. Yeah, this is a brawl. Wow, another overhand right. Give me the dick. Old dick and balls. Old dick and balls, man. Um, <laughs> are you happy with uh, Nord? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got all up in there. That was all dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Back to dude. All right. I mean, whatever we end up getting, it's just going to be for a week and I'm going to cancel it right away anyway. Um, I just want to make sure whatever we settle on doesn't turn. All right, so Aslan got Victor Victor Henry. <laughs> you shall, sir. Wait, so are you going to go to the tailgate event with Billy? Is that a, a doable drive for you? Because you're saying that for Atlantic City, it'd be about three hours. So that means he's not that far from us because. Oh, let's go! There, <laughs> What's good? He said, Fuck no, I wish. All right. That is a good, that is a good dwarf. You're a good dwarf, man. You're a good dwarf. I don't like the other one. Yo, a lot of crazy shit, man. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of crazy shit going on in this card. And there's a lot of rock'em, sock'em robots. <laughs> also, uh, you'll be happy to know, we got a new channel member. Mason the Mayo. Let's go. This is for the dick shot. There is there is a guy who calls himself the Pleasure Man. Yep. Shout out to Mason. Yeah, every stream gives you an opportunity to, to, to get better much. Every time you stream, you have an opportunity to get better, refine your trades. Hey! What's yeah. goody? Appreciate What's you popping in. Say hello. Uh, work is all right for you today? For real, for real. Well, yeah, you know, every time we stream, man, we get a, an opportunity to refine our delivery, refine how we um, 
you know, refine like how we express things, uh, creating new catchphrases, you know, just making things just flow smooth. Uh, when we go to develop our ideas for what we want to bring to our viewers, we get better and better at that too. So yeah, you know, all of our streams could be better, but you don't really see anybody come in to the YouTube space and they're just immediately a great streamer, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he definitely got Victor Henry, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that eye is swollen. Yeah, but it's been swollen up for a yeah. while. That was before it was all dick and balls. If I did it a religion debate, it got too heated. I have an idea of how to be better next time. I don't think he and I would have gotten along mm -hmm. well anyway. Um, I don't know if you've noticed much. But when there are certain debate topics, I just, you know, there's basketball, hockey, and baseball <laughs> that I could be watching. You know what I mean? Like, I just, there's certain discussions. I, I think that there was one discussion uh, that Jeremy was telling me about. I'm like, listen, man, it ain't for me. <laughs> like I, I know what my tolerances are now. I, I understand what my limitations are psychologically when it comes to trying to discuss certain, to, to trying to discuss uh, certain uh, topics under certain circumstances. I'm like, nah, I'm just not gonna do it to myself. But the thing is, man, you know, you really do try to give everybody a chance to speak their piece and you do go into things in good faith. The problem is when you're talking about people who don't require uh, proof in the classical sense to support their positioning, the debate, you, you, cannot, you cannot win the debate against somebody that just says, if, if, if I said, if we were talking about something we didn't agree, and then I just, and you're like, well, how did you come to that position? I'd say, well, it's magic. How can you fucking argue with that? Mm -hmm. And I think also for us, at certain points when we know we're not going to agree, we just move on. Like, yeah. We're not going to try to convince the other person we're not going to agree. So, yeah, exactly. Why waste the energy? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's how you get trapped. Again, you know, like, it's like if, you know, people say, you know, I don't know, like, you, 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 know, how, you, know, how, you, know, you know how people are, man, right? Look at his latest comment. Like, like, Magic. Preach. like you know, like, you, you know how people are, like, you know, if a woman says that you're a predator, how, how do you, and she doesn't even know you, how are you supposed to try to prove the negative? You know, so like you, you know, when 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 there is somebody who is intent on winning instead of uh, exchanging ideas, you're already behind the eight ball, and there's going to be very little that you're going to be able to learn from whatever they have to say anyway, because they're not coming from a place of either trying to provide understanding or to seek understanding. And this is why I don't like conservatives. This is why I don't like liberals. It's always about, did you own the other person? It's never really about, hey, you know, we need to find out why people believe what they believe so that we have a better, um, a better understanding of how- Without uh, spinning back this. Yeah, you said it he, for me. He keeps attempting to do these flashy things and he looks but like he an does. idiot. How, is, is it possible to not- yeah. Oh, hey, shit! Knock about, knock about. <laughs> The way he fell! <laughs> the way, the way he <laughs> fell! Like, no. stop, stop. You don't need to get punched again. He didn't even allow me 
He didn't allow me to finish my sentence. I was going to ask, is it possible for him to get knocked out? <laughs> the way he slipped and fell was like it was on a banana peel. <laughs> I don't know, man. I might be fighting tonight, man. Um, it was... You said Cal Nelson versus Bill Algio? Nah, that was fighting tonight right there, man. You, you... That, that was fighting tonight right there, man. That was fighting tonight. I, I also agree. I think it's a good call. Yeah. Like, yeah, he didn't land on his back and hit his head yeah. on the mat. But, but still, but he, way, but he, he felt a little yeah. wobbly. Yeah, but you, but and then his but, head went but, back. But you, but you, it's some Looney Tunes shit. Yeah. Right on the eyebrow, on the temple. But look how, look how wobbly his head is. I'm Had sorry. He went all the way back, he would have hit his head on the mat. Yo, that is a funny knockout. I ain't even gonna front. That was funny. Uh, I have to agree with Jake. I'm not a fan of either of these guys, but I'd rather that this guy win than the other one did. Um. <laughs> I disagree with you, man. They were swinging and banging. They're trying to entertain the folks, and they want their they want to be household names. Turkaj named himself the Pleasure Man, like he's trying to be known, and that's why he fights aggressive that way, you know. So I, I have to uh, I have to disagree with you. My can't win debate is legal drug use in front of kids. The second I say it isn't ideal to have pothead parents. The reply is, are you saying I didn't turn out well? Total setup question. Yeah, man. You know, people seem to have a, a really big problem recognizing that their own anecdotal evidence is not necessarily representative of the average outcome for any particular situation, especially when you're talking to some women and you say, hey, Older women are going to struggle in dating because of this, that, and the third. Well, I'm an older woman, and I look great. Well, how many older women actually keep up their bodies? Not many. So maybe I'm not talking about you. Maybe you're the outlier. And you are you have every right to, to, to view the world that you do the way that you do, but anecdotal evidence is just that, anecdotal. Dude, that was round number three. What are you talking about one round cardio, Jay? You're hating. Do I have to hit him with it? Well. Do I have to hit JL with it? Yes. Stop being a hater. Doesn't he get hit with that every single week? No, that's David Banner. <laughs> <laughs> He's been getting hit with that shit lately. <laughs> but Jay, you want some hater type shit, man. You need to chill. <laughs> You got hate in your blood, man. Listen to the promo. Great promo. That was great. His eye looks like a sideways vagina. <laughs> hey yo pause oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's still four. It's still three dimensions. Oh, Rangers got another goal. Wow, Zach Jones, nice work. I don't know, man. It's really difficult for me to trust men that say that, yeah, I don't like sports. 
It's really hard for me to trust guys that are like that. Camera getting so um out of focus because it keeps going in and out with a whole bunch of moving stuff going on. I'm not ours. Simply not like that. No. Well, sometimes you just like. You need to high five it. There we go. I would feel like I have dry eyes or something. You need some clear eyes? Yeah. We're all on. I want to thank every one of you that has popped into our stream just to see what we're about. <laughs> we cover all the fights. Mm -hmm. We cover all the fights. Um, if you want to stick around and hang out with some of our people, be our guest. If um, you're interested in what kind of conversations are going on on the YouTube side, um, definitely check out um, Definitely check us out uh, on YouTube. Uh, in your YouTube search bar, if you're on Facebook or whatever, uh, in your YouTube search bar, search. At T-A-L-K-I-N-S-H-I-T. I don't Was that even really New York City? Uh, okay, why don't you just lie and say you're from Brooklyn? <laughs> That's probably the most disrespectful thing I've heard you say today. Uh, in regards to anything. <laughs> I'm going to the box off of a hooking penalty. She does the very best with clothing mm -hmm. that her body just doesn't provide. Mm -hmm. Megan Levy. Mm -hmm. She makes herself look so much more appealing by just what she chooses and how she wears it. Yeah. It's one of those, wow, I find her attractive and I don't really know why. The controller MMA? Did you say mom's basement MMA? Yeah. Is that where you find JD from NY? Oh my God, he just scored shorthanded. Good God. Wow. And Gaudreau doesn't score. Look at him ski. Look at him ski. That's his second goal of the season, and the season's almost over. Uh, 
Um, I'll have to respectfully disagree. I believe that Karen Bryan has some kind of appeal, but Charlie Arnault, Arnault is um, number one, in my opinion, when it comes to all of the commentators. And the, uh, the chick that they now have on color commentary, she's not bad looking either. Not really my type, but. I do like how Karen Bryant does her job though. I, I, I do like how Karen Bryant does her job. Are you talking about Jackson? You're probably talking about some insider shit that I don't really know anything about. Yeah, you're talking about some insider shit I don't know anything about. I wasn't really like, um, I wasn't like really, uh, <laughs> that is funny. The Rampage Jackson strikes me as a guy who's trying to smash uh, every vagina out there. Another dwarf in the cage. What is going on? We had a dwarf fighter. We got two dwarf like referees. What is going on in this card? It's crazy. It's weird. Crazy. Wow. You score a goal and then a delay of game penalty. Come on, man. Chill. Wow, that's a crazy kick from Buzikia. Wow, he's throwing them kicks. Now, this kick-heavy attack might take Matthews out of his rhythm. But it seems like he's been trying to return fire with the kicks. And then, oh, wow, what a right hook from Matthews. He wants to do the streak. 
Look at these haymakers. There's something about Atlantic City that just makes people want to fight. Yo, <laughs> yo, the fights on this card so far are like they went to the casino, lost their money, and now have to take out their anger. No, I mean it's, it's Atlantic City. Like, <laughs> like they know where they're at. <laughs> Fighting in the bars, fighting in the, uh, you, know, you remember the the outlets? Yeah. Goodness gracious. That is the one part I miss about Atlantic City. Ever visit again. You know, the like, outlets are pretty good. Long? I got yeah. some good stuff in there. Yeah, like, you know, you know, some, <laughs> some dude tried to rob us and failed in Atlantic City. That's his job, Jeremy. It's supposed to keep you distracted. Oh, look the, um, oh wow. They scrapping. Yeah, yeah, the welt on his leg. Yeah. His legs look that leg looks bad all the way around. His leg looks like how my legs felt today. Checking now. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> oh, I love it. Babe. Oh, look, yeah, <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> this is great. Oh. And then he has this look on his face like, Dad, you're weird. So Somebody save me. <laughs> Oh, I love it, man. Thank you for the photo. I love his little sweater. Little alien. Such a cutie patootie. Thanks, so. Mm. Yeah. You know what it is? It's the fact that they're fighting in Joyzy. Oh. Oh, wow. It's all dick and balls, man. Again. <laughs> it's all dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah we need to find that we need to find that we need to find oh man that was and then he punched him in the face after after he gave him the victor henry he punched him in the face oh man <laughs> Yeah, Victor Henry shots are, are very, very different in Joyzy. <laughs> oh, nice. Pop his head back. A little double jab. There's a little blood again. on the back of uh, Zakia's elbow. See it? Yeah. Wonder where that came from. Oh wow, the counter. Matthews is waiting with the counter and he just missed. Matthews is trying to crane him him this, with the overhand right. Mazuki gives it back to him. Oh, nice combo. Inside leg kick. And then straight left, right hook combination. At, well, not really right hook, kind of like a right cross. That was nice flow from, from Buzukiga. <laughs> hey, okay. Okay. Uh.
the commercial is done a little too well. Like the coyotes are so bad that they don't even have their own facility to play their games in, and the Rangers would be about five goals to these guys. That's a crazy leg kick. <laughs> then he goes for the liver kick, inside leg kick. That guy's got got kicking combos for days. Oh, what a right hand from Busakia. Wow. Matthews really wanted to take his head off, but he got him up against the side of the cage there. Yeah. Yeah, he's very, and he's also very, very um, accurate, especially with the kicks. I don't I don't like seeing him with his back to the fence like this though. Oh wow, look at the oh nice right hand from Matthews. That was nice. Oh, nice left hook. Straight right. He just, <laughs> I would have gotten caught with that. I would, they would not have think that straight right was coming. Yo, if there's a bunch of dudes out in Staten Island fighting like this, mm -hmm. let's just keep driving. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Let's keep driving. It's all over there. It's uh, too high anyway. Yeah. Oh, what a left hand. Yeah, Buzikia definitely is seeing everything. He's, see he's seeing everything. Little check left hook there. One of the things I like about Buzikia is that he it looks like he has like 15 or, or, or 20 different strikes he could throw at you. His legs are pretty much arms. Yeah. In yeah. those cases, like they're just yeah. jabs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he tried to jump on his back. Oh, nice takedown, Matthews. Bazzicchi is definitely going to get to his feet, though. I thought he would. Oh, excuse me. Oh! Oh, oh nice man. counter, Bazzicchi. Very nice. Nice. 
Oh, rip to the body. Goodness. Yeah, this card definitely has delivered. And of course, there's no Dan Jensen here. We need someone else to get busted open. Then he will get something. Something, right? Yeah. Hey, I'm Kate. <laughs> and before he says that, his eyes, when he looks back at the guy, he's like, holy shit. <laughs> Damn, they scored on the empty net stupid fast. This is, an, this is about as, as embarrassing a performance. <laughs> No, I'm up. Uh, Max is also growing more hair on his face, too. I think that has something to do with it as well. You know, a lot of hair on the head, a lot of hair on the face. This is about the worst performance that I've seen from the Rangers in a win this season. And I missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shoulders, just uh, ended the fight. Yeah, I've actually been watching him. Yeah, he's definitely more. Uh, he's definitely more uh, reflective. It, like it, it's almost like in, in Max Holloway's career, he's not. He's not just saying on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. No, it was a straight, yeah. Oh, man, that's a... <laughs> it, was, it was just a perfect combo. Yeah, probably hit him in the right spot, the right oh, time. Oh, right yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Oh, right simple. behind the ear. Right behind the ear. Did you see his ear flap like Dumbo? Mm -hmm. Flap. And then there was... Flap. Yeah, it, it seems like... Um, when it comes to Max Holloway, his perspective is definitely that of a veteran who knows that his time may be approaching its end. You know, it, it definitely has that kind of feel. I don't know why they call an icing. The goaltender played the puck. <laughs> Only if he is, Jeremy. Yeah, it felt it felt like he was champion for ten years.
I don't understand why. I don't understand why they pulled the goaltender with a minute left down by two. They've just given up more and more goals. Oh, wow. Laffy Taffy scored five points in this game. A very, very poorly played game by the Rangers. Very poorly played. Rangers won eight to five. <laughs> poor, poor play. I guess it, it means something when you're, you can play bad while jet lagged flying across the country. Uh, they'll get the win. But um, I really did not really enjoy the flow of this game. But it's nice that Laffy Taffy got a hat trick, scored five points. And guess who missed weight? Mercy? Mm hmm. Forfeits 20% of his purse. I figured with his man bag. Who Burn is or released? I thought, he, I thought Herbert Burns got released by the UFC already. What was the last time he fought? Well, they said that he had to uh, use the resources. Well, that'll do it. I thought that they uh, released him after his last loss, but yeah. that's what they were mentioning um, when they showed him in the back. Yeah, he missed by a pound and a half over the non-title limit. Mm -hmm. um, the fights have actually been pretty good. Uh, no, nah, the, the the fights have been crazy. You missed a lot of crazy shit. Mm -hmm. You did. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I love that icon. <laughs> Good morning. Howdy. Now you did you did definitely miss a lot. You did. Mm -hmm.
Um, I, I discussed this at the beginning of the stream. Mm. I talked about how we have a middleweight fight on the main card that I'm very interested in seeing, followed by a card, followed by a middleweight fight uh, between two guys who should have been released by the UFC already. So yes, we've already covered this. And uh, it's, it is really nice to... Um, to see you again. Yes, it is the Burns Brothers. Yep. And then I said, Hillary Clinton slapped me and called me a pervert. I ripped their fucking tonsils out and fed her sherbet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of um, uh, debuts tonight, Jeremy. That's why. I said my nerves for it, and lately I'm on edge. Mm -hmm. Are you on edge? Oh. Is that a I'm grabbing, right? I'm grabbing vanilla ice and ripped out this blonde oh, dress? Oh <laughs> I just heard it for a moment and I was like, oh, it's in and then Larry. One of the first cars I ever watched on TSP, Herbert Burns got knocked down and then refused to get up. And <laughs> he pathetically got it. Damn. Yeah, it's all my fault. <laughs> No accountability. <laughs> That's all right. You can date. You can uh, blame Dr. Evil. Yeah, of course he's a three and a half to one favorite. He didn't make weight. <laughs> well, I will. And I have. <laughs> I don't care where he's from. Make weight, man. Make the goddamn weight. Ooh, this time. I dig it. Are you gonna add your own um channel on there? Make sure you make some for yourself as well. The dwarf is back again. How many fights is he assigned to? Just alternating with Keith. No nonsense, Peterson. But then they have this other guy that looks like he's Middle Eastern that started the card. Uh, like where he's either. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you add yours too. Put yours right on top. And especially if you can get your icon on it, maybe in the center. Yeah, so we were like, ooh, what's that? What's your channel? I'm definitely not the biggest Herbert Burns fan, but our same as weight, man. <laughs> I just noticed he's in the comment. Oh, God. Hey. Uh, Rick, you're actually wrong. You're actually wrong. Yeah, and yeah, you're late and you're wrong. This has been a crazy card so far. Crazy. In a good way. For the most part. There was a couple of Victor Henry moments so far. Well, other than that, it's been a lot of rock and sock of robots uh, action tonight. 
Yeah. It's a way of saying hello. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> These days, he's got like a 70% chance of being right. But this has been a really good card. Well, welcome, Bruce Bob Trotter, once again. Don't smile, he just punched you in the face. And it reminds me of what David Banner said. So I'm just gonna leave that up there for a little while. Like, David, like, Herbert just took a one, two to the face and then smile. Like, why? Dude, <laughs> uh, I had two very hard workouts and no nap today, man. I did wake up pretty early, yeah. Yeah, I got up stupid early. Um, I wrecked my legs, I wrecked my back, and I didn't get any rest time in in between. The third one tonight. Okay. It was all taking your balls, man. <laughs> That's how you know Paul Felder is at the desk. Third Victor Henry, yeah, of the night, and that was all dick and balls. Damn, I think if Burns loses this fight, he's going to get released from the UFC. Oh! <laughs> you going to get? Oh, man! Oh! Oh! Now I got to take a point. Take a point. You got to take a point. That, that was all dick and balls. You got to take a point. Oh! Man. Two! Oh! You got to take a point. Rename him Julio Henry. Yes, it was all dick and balls. <laughs> Yo, Herbert Burns wants the other doctor. Yep. The ref said no. It was all dick and balls, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Second good call from this ref. Nice. Maybe they need to have him on the card more often. Yeah, he was definitely trying to touch some nether regions. Way too much. You should know, dude. You should be nowhere near that area. It's gonna I'm sorry. Herbert Burns just does not look like a UFC fighter. He just doesn't. And 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 Jeremy, what have you seen in this fight that leads you to believe that that Herbert Burns scoring a knockout is really like a legitimate possibility. Mm -hmm. You know, and the thing is, no, 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 no. Burns was not the one that missed weight. Arce guy. missed weight. Arce missed weight. I mean, I, I guess you can see, you can say that Burns is more of a professional than Arce. He made the weight. But the thing is, like, you know, Burns, this is an, this is embarrassing. 
Why is he grabbing at his knee? <laughs> You called it, man. You called it. I'm about to say that looked familiar. <laughs> you, I think we got our first dud of a fight, y'all. Great when Rick walks in. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's, it's your fault. <laughs> uh, Gilbert Burns? Oh, yeah, that's right. He did get finished. Yeah, I might be able to sleep like 10 hours tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't even set my alarm this morning. Like, I had the intention to run today, but I wasn't. Yo, know, you're an asshole for that, Rick. <laughs> you're an asshole for that. Uh, I might do a video on that. I, I, I think that. You know, men have enough trouble being looked at um, negatively in society when we do nothing wrong. Let one guy do a whole bunch of things wrong, and they they try to they try to like they try they try to make it like all of us. You know, they try to make it like all the men are are out here harming women. Oh, that's a knee that did not go to the cup. Yeah, I, I it's, it's some weird TikToker, some weird TikToker guy that's been going around harassing women on social media, from what I understand, for over a year. Uh, this is a good question. From what I understand, from one content creator that um there's a content creator that uh yeah this guy he's a disgrace um uh there, there's uh people saying that there are uh, there's at least one other guy uh who you know basically like a copycat so it's just it's just awful man <laughs> It's just awful. And, you know, I don't really walk the streets of New York anymore. Um, I, the thing is, like, uh, the one guy, you know, basically his whole thing is he hates Democrats and white people or whatever. That I guess that's his thing. He, he doesn't like white people or Democrats or whatever. And he's a wannabe. Oh. There it is. Good night. Good night. Good night. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, for the most part, I just drive to where I need to go. Um, my, my experiences walking around in New York City has not been positive for most of my life. And... Um, you know, I would rather just kind of be isolated from other people, other uh, other people. You know, yeah, that yeah. You know, I I can't even be happy with Burns getting kicked out of the UFC because the guy that kicks him out of the UFC missed weight. So that whole, I'm just glad that the fight's over. Julio Arce, I think, usually makes weight or whatever, but. <laughs> nah, you'll be fine. Yeah, just mind your business. Don't make eye contact with people. And Sue and I walk around city often. Plus, I like to be alone, so I spend most of my time at home anyway. And also, the destinations that you plan on visiting, it'll be fine, even with the park. There are so many people in the park, so many people around those colleges. 
or you want to visit the museums, there's going to be a lot of people around there. Just make sure you maintain your personal space because that's one of the things that we're going to be doing when we go to London is to make sure that our belongings are secure and we maintain a far distance uh, from people because when you go in the crowded areas, pickpocketers try to create uh, they try to create physical touch. I'm just trying to get the chance. <laughs> Jake Miller, Herbert Burns is not a UFC fighter, period. Herbert Burns is not a UFC fighter. And that is probably the last time we are going to see him in the UFC. And um, good God, thank you. Hey, man. At least he took, he, he didn't go running around fucking celebrating. He owned the weight miss. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta respect him for that. Nah, don't cancel your big kick. You're good. Nah, I'm just saying any place you go that you're not familiar you just need to be very aware in crowded surroundings because pickpocketers seem to know who is a tourist and who isn't. Yeah. You know? And in a few days, we're going to be tourists. And you know me, I'm going to be watching everybody around us. Like, you want to walk towards me? We're going to give you a wide berth. Yeah. I feel like living here makes it where um, being able to adapt in a foreign country or place it's a little yeah don't get caught staring up at all the architecture because yeah. that's how you get your shit stolen like i travel for work alone and i'm fine there have been a couple of times where i caught people you know paying a little too much attention to myself yep i knew how to handle it yep i knew how to get to my destination not the final destination the final destination but I yeah. switch lanes when I when I see that flatbed truck full of metal poles. Or, yeah, I don't want to that very often. That's just not yesterday. Yeah, you know, I just realized that Verna Zanjidova looks like an ugly Max Holloway. Hmm. She looks like the alien cartoon alien version mm -hmm. of Max Holloway. <laughs> I was waiting for that comment. There needs to be at least one of those per stream. Break. <laughs> That's the problem, man. I'm, I see everybody. <laughs> Kratos! <laughs> Whatever, yo. Whatever. Oh, man. Fuck, sir. I'm going to get started on the burgers. Yeah, Shanji Dova, she looks like the... You know how when they 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 make a cartoon version of somebody, mm -hmm. and they make them a, a little ugly on purpose. Mm -hmm. That that's what they she is what they did to Max Holloway. That 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 she's the ugly cartoon version of Max Holloway. Good thing she got in CFC. Like you would see her on Ed Ed and Eddie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my savagery aside welcome to the filthy casual mma watch party i am your host dr evil genius that was mrs evil aka mrs marathon <laughs> who's gonna make burgers oh guys
I want to thank uh, our channel members. Thank you so, so much for supporting the platform. Yeah, I gotta say, Mrs. Evil, you know, she runs from her problems, literally. Um, the 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 actual operative terms is if, and uh, that is probably not going to happen, um, because your team for some reason cannot realize its proper potential. And you are wasting Austin Matthews. You are wasting him. I turn into a real Dan Schneider when it comes to Bert. I don't even know what that means. I bought a Ridge wallet from my Vegas trip and had my hand in my pockets at all times. It's not that I don't trust you. I just don't trust anyone. Exactly. 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 <laughs> hey, 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 she ran in both fights I saw. Nah, the, the Leafs are not doing as well as they should be doing. The, 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 Leafs, the Leafs should be a better team, and they're not. Wow, the Rangers have 50 wins. I did not expect the Rangers to be at the top of the league. I still don't think that the Rangers are as good as their record says that they are. Uh, Toronto right now has 91 points, and that is good for one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're tenth in the NHL right now. Uh, Toronto is 41, 22, and 9, which essentially means that they're 41 and 31. They have a pretty decent road record, but they need to do better at home. Plus 39. They're 5 4 and 1 in their last 10. And, you know, they have scored 266 goals, and like 60 of them are Austin Matthews. I think, I think, I really do believe that the talent is being wasted. It reminds me a lot of, uh, of like Edmonton with uh, with uh, Connor McDavid. You know, Connor McDavid has been being wasted up there too. They need better goaltending and they need a better defensive scheme. But when you have two guys that take up 23% of the salary cap for a 22-man roster, it's going to be hard to, to put decent players around Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid. I don't understand how the Rangers have the best record in the league. I, I don't understand how it's possible. Uh, I watch pretty much almost every single Rangers game. That's crazy. Colorado has the third best record in the league and they still have not clinched a playoff spot. That's crazy. How do you have 100 points? No, I'm just talking about in general, Rick, in general. You know, the Oilers, and remember, they were not very good to start the season, right? They went on that crazy, what was it, 16-game winning streak. I was kind of hoping that they would break the record. Um, I actually watched the game that they lost, and I couldn't believe they lost. I think they lost to, like, the Sharks or something. I'm like, come on.
I don't know what this means. Yeah, loopy. Yeah. I swear she looks like an ugly cartoon version of Max Holloway. Come on, I can't be the only one that sees this, guys. All right, in that photo, she does not look like Mr. Potato Head. Jake. You know, this is one of the first seasons that I look, and nobody's really running away with the plus minus. Colorado's plus 58. Um, a gold differential, sorry. Florida plus 57, Vancouver plus 57, Edmonton plus 56. Uh, Dallas Stars at uh, plus 53, Rangers at plus 51. It's very even in the league. I mean, San Jose is just, they are a dumpster fire. They scored 159 goals. And have given up almost 300. Good God. The Ottawa Senators had a, like a crazy losing record and was still had a positive gold differential for a long time. That was weird to see. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this. Not answering messages. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And I'm a, I'm a person that worries a lot. So that's definitely not something I, I really needed to know because I'm just going to fucking worry. I don't like that. Yeah, I know, Jeremy. I, I, I get it, man. I get it. You got a wizard here. Yeah, yeah, you know, maybe he, like, you know, had to spend a week in jail or something like that, or I just don't want to think about the worst, you know? Oh, wow, she pulled guard. Oh, wow, she's got her hand up in the gooch. She could have thrown that knee. There you go, Loopy. I can 
secret root for Jan Jidova if she actually fought like Max Holloway. Had a friend from club disc golf end up crashing with a random girl back in college and not tell us. His tea time wasn't for two days, but we spammed his phone. We called his mom to call him, and he was mad at us for worrying. Yeah. 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 Some people did lose their lives driving over that bridge too. You know, I didn't, I, you know, I'm not from Baltimore, so I wasn't like thinking to pay attention to any of that, but. Yeah. Definitely this, Jake. Definitely this.
I'm really hoping that, you know, funny Rob just, you know, maybe decided to hang out a little bit longer or something. Yeah, this is very true. And I'm sure that if he could contact people, he would. Yeah. I notify JD of what's happening. I think that's probably what they were trained to do, Jake. But uh, we are... Um, Uh, Captain Paul and I are looking to bring a more extensive uh, piece of information, you know, uh, you know, because he works on the water and um, he knows a lot about these types of situations. Um, we're going to be uh, producing a video on TSP to uh, to uh, kind of, you know, give a professional's uh, take on the situation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe, you know, JD can send uh, a DM on Twitter or something that he'll see or something, you know? And she's going to have to let that ankle go. Yeah, she let it go, yeah. They look like a pretzel. I don't know, ma'am. I don't know.
Uh, I wish I cared about this bike, but I don't. I swear she looks, I swear she looks like an alien Max Holloway. Or cartoon. A cartoonishly drawn Max Holloway. I would love to hear her say on to the next. Oh, that's a lot of blood. She just squeezed a bunch of blood out of her nose. She went, uh, uh, cartoon Max Holloway went for uh, a rear naked that went across the jaw, uh, across the face. See it leaking. See it leaking. Yeah, it's like, uh, Funny looking Max Holloway. Probably won the fight. Funny Max Holloway.
Funny looking Max Holloway gets the win. And you know what she says, guys? On to the next. Spell me for a little bit. Mm. Want the big seat? No, oh, Mrs. Evil is here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my show now. Yeah, this is our show now. Oh, yeah. Right, time for homemade. Cheater cheese. Mm -hmm. Well, I missed an entire fight, but seems like I didn't miss much. Yep. Do it. Do it. So, this is beef. It's simple. Just lettuce. I usually add a slice of tomato. But I'm feeling lazy today, and I didn't feel like 
cutting the tomato. Um, got some mustard on this and barbecue sauce. I went barbecue sauce instead of ketchup this time. Because there's this good barbecue sauce that I got from Target, which I bought for Dr. Evil. And I've been using it a lot. It's kind of sweet. I'll show it later. And it's in this perfect bottle with this spout, which is very easy to use. And is delicious. I forgot how much I paid for it. Anyway, it was from Target. But yeah, for time. I'm also just trying to cook all the stuff that we have in the fridge now. Um, because when we leave, I want to make sure our fridge is empty. So I don't want to come home to rotten food. So, add some buns. And yeah. Yeah. I also have bacon that I made earlier, but I didn't put the bacon on my burger because I had the bacon with, um, with pancakes. So figured I'd be a, a good spouse and let them have the rest of the bacon. So Dr. Evil's burger will have bacon in it. Ooh, please, please tell the class how the burger will be prepared and what's going to be on it. Please and thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm. So is this a powdered seasoning or like a sauce marinade? The seasoning that I put on mine. Salt, pepper. Um, there's this uh, umami seasoning that I have. It's powdered seasoning from Trader Joe's. And oh, oh, hold on. Let's pause for a moment because I think this is about to end in round one. Powder, Montreal steak seasoning. Okay. Where'd you get it? I checked that out. Dude, there is a lump already uh, above the right eyebrow of this dude. Landwehr? Landwehr? Landwehr. Landwehr. I'm butchering his name. See this welt says it's already formed above his right eyebrow. Yes, I've done the tram. The tram is safe, uh, Rick. Yeah, the tram is safe. Uh, you pay for it like you would pay for um, any of the other transit stuff. Uh, as long as you, you can use your phone. So just FYI, the way the transit system works in New York, if you haven't been to New York before. Is this your first time visiting New York? But you can pay with your phone, one of you know, the contactless payment, or you can pay with your card as long as you know it has contactless. You don't have to buy a metro card. So don't I wouldn't even bother buying a metro card. Just tap to pay. Uh, and you should be able to also tap to pay um, doing the tram. But the tram is cool. I like the tram. It's safe, even on a windy day, it's safe. It's rare that you'll see the tram is um, out of service. You can get to Roosevelt Island also by train. There's a train station there. But um, yeah, it's rare for this to happen. Uh, people dying in, in a helicopter tour um, or anything you know big like that. It only seems really bad just because it doesn't happen very often but you are going to be fine on the tram. I would definitely do it. Oh, and we got some blood. 
along the uh, left side of Landwehr's uh, bullet head. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. There's this nice cut right there on the left side. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely. Yeah, that's terrible. That's terrible. Um, but like I said, something like this is rare. Uh, so I would not be concerned about that happening when you when you visit. It'll be fine. All right, we're still building this burger with Jeremy Lewis. Got some Colby Monterey Jack cheese. Cabbage instead of lettuce. Okay, interesting. For the crunch. So the lettuce that I have is, uh, yes, we do have blood. Blood. <laughs> Why do I do these things? Um, mine is romaine lettuce. But on a burger, I like a nice big leafy lettuce, like a romaine or even an iceberg. The cabbage, interesting. Wait, so then is it shredded cabbage though? Or is it the whole leaf? Shredded is good too, but I think I prefer shredded on like a cold cut sandwich. Oh, that blood is just like going down the left side. Do you stick tomato? Yeah, so that's what I have in my fridge and I was just too lazy to cut. Really? Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, I like a good crunch. On a sandwich, on a burger, on the veggies. Holy, okay. I think when it comes to cabbage, I prefer mine shredded. Look down. Let's watch that one more time. Nice uppercut. He says, stays with it, stays dishing out the violence. Beautiful uppercut. And then a hook to the his left ear. Damn. Actually more above the ear. No, it didn't actually uh make contact with the ear. Oh, look, oh, look at the cut on his head. Look at the cut on his head. You can practically see his brain. Oh, that's a beautiful gash. Ugh. Ugh. Yes, this is true. I, however, <laughs> I'm okay with a messy burger, especially if I'm home. It's just like, oh, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. In public, you know, they give me the whole leaf. But um, I'm a bit of a messy eater. In public, I'll, you know, use the napkin as a bib. Uh, so I, I will just get food all over myself like a child. But yeah, I don't know. There's something about the, the texture of shredded cabbage that I prefer more than the whole leaf. When Thing 2 makes cabbage, she'll chop it up so it's more like these little squares uh, and she'll saute it. It's yummy, it's yummy. Uh, did you visit Ground Zero, the 9-11 Memorial? I visited before. Uh, I didn't pay for, I didn't go downstairs and pay for the whole museum memorial thing, but there's plenty that you can see on the outside just walking around. Um, I don't go down there very often because I don't really have a reason to. But um, it is a nice area because that is uh, the Battery Park area. Oh, I want to see that gash on his head again. Hold on one second. I just, I, it looks like it's open. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, and then don't they give you like the plastic bib at a place like a uh, Joe's Crab Shack? Oh, look at it. It almost looks like it's sunken in a little bit because that gash is so deep. Lovely cut. Um, yeah, I, I'm just a messy eater. Jamal got shredded. Yeah. Bobby Green esque performance from Emma, uh, from Emmers. <laughs> Even got knocked out like Bobby does. I feel like if the other ref was uh, was there, he would have stopped it even earlier. It was still a good stoppage anyway. Lobster bid. Yeah, I don't know. It, it just makes it more fun. Okay, so on the topic of burgers, build me your ultimate burger. Not just the one you're making today. What is what is your ultimate burger if you had access all the toppings and all the sauces. What is your ultimate burger? I'm crabby bib. <laughs> and this could be for anybody, not just Jeremy. Build me your ultimate burger. How would that look? It could be stacked up as high as you want. It could be uber ridiculous. I don't care. Build me your ultimate burger. Now I want. My favorites on a burger are, I really like cheddar cheese on a burger. I like any cheese on a burger, actually. But American cheese is fine with me. Mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese. It just has to be nice and oozy and melty. I probably have multiple cheese types, multiple slices of cheese. Lettuce, tomato, romaine lettuce. And beef steak, uh, tomato, caramelized onion. I'd like a fried egg where it's nice and, you know, oozy. What else do I want on my burger? Bacon. Bacon needs to be in the burger. Probably other toppings, but those are the ones that come to mind first. But give me your ultimate burger. I said, easy. I'd go to, to Hardee's and make their size version of a triple flamethrower. <laughs> You're a marker of decent fast food burgers. Yeah. Oh, sliced avocado also. Which is probably more that's going to go on my burger. With the fried egg, the caramelized onion, the bacon, avocado. There might be others, but those are those are my favorite toppings so far. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think the next fight is going to start for another ten minutes. I was asking everyone to build their ultimate burger. What's your favorite burger? Like you can add anything you want to it. What would you put on it? All right, this is things to ultimate burger. She's a veggie gal. So lots of lettuce and tomato. What else? Fried egg. <laughs> Avocado, which is basically building the burger I built. That's it? No bacon? I don't know. I don't know. All right. It's I basically my burger. I like bacon. What about, uh, would you put kimchi in your burger? Kimchi? Mm, no. no? Okay. Listen, I'm just asking. This is a fantasy burger. You can make it however you want. All right, no kimchi in the burger. No kimchi. I need rice. Okay. All right. So good burger. Yes, ma'am. 
I put caramelized onions in my burger. And then that. You know, the tomato? Okay. Jeremy. I think steak and shake mix. Uh, rose and cheese, fried egg included. Mm. Not familiar with steak and steak and shake. Oh, they just don't have brioche bun. I, I forgot to mention that. What bun type? She nearly had a heart attack. You want a brioche bun or you want a pretzel bun? Brioche bun. Okay. We're in agreement, Jeremy. Brioche bun. Or even potato bread. I want potato bread. I mean, brioche is the superior one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've tried to make my own brioche bread. It takes a lot of butter, which is the reason why it's so delicious. But it takes like two days to make. So I've done it maybe twice. But it's something you have to commit a weekend to because you have to let it sit for, I think you have to let it sit the first time you do the rise, like 12 hours in the fridge. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it takes a really long time to make brioche bread. I am not that dedicated, but every once in a while, um, I try to make it. Right now, what I see is commentators just chatting. It's going to be at least five minutes until the next fight starts. Buckley's not ranked. I really thought that Buckley was a ranked fighter. All right, we'll be here.
Blanchfield at home in New Jersey for a title shot. Manon has no chance tonight. What if we get the super upset? You know how much I like a little drama. Do you think they riot if Manon wins instead? But yeah, I could see Blanchfield winning with having the home field advantage. Is New York somewhere worth going? I'm from New Jersey. Somewhere worth going as a New Yorker, or is it just another place that's close? Um, depends on where in Jersey. I think Jersey is worth going to for specific destinations. Um, but if I'm going to travel outside of New York, Jersey's probably not my first choice. It's probably just the state that I'm driving through. Um, I've been to Atlantic City a handful of times. Uh, it's one of those things where you just need some place to go that's not too far away. Or if you're with family, like a few times I just got on a bus with my mom and my grandmother and my sisters. And we took a bus from Port Authority, New York to, uh, to Atlantic City. And uh, sometimes with the buses here, you get a, a voucher. We get like twenty dollars worth of um, casino credit. It's a one day getaway. Do a little bit of shopping. Uh, what else have we done in New Jersey? Before a movie theater opened up in our neighborhood, um, we actually went to Jersey kind of often to go to the movies. There's a few malls that are okay. Mm. We did go karts. That's fun to do in New Jersey. That's something we'll, we would go to Jersey too often. I mean, we've done it once, but we would probably do it again. Um, and the gun range, because you can't do that in New York. There is a spot in Jersey where we'll go to uh, practice shooting. But yeah, it, it's not on the top of our list. If we're going to go somewhere, it'll be in another state, and we just have to drive through New Jersey. It's not on the top of the list. Also, New Jersey just feels like another borough when you live in New York. You have Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, Staten Island. Those are your five boroughs in New York. New Jersey just feels like a sixth borough. It doesn't feel like another state. So unless you really have something to do there, it's all right.
my picks for the card. Mm. I always have to see people's face. I'm going to give my picks for the fighters that I'm a little more familiar with. Um, and that's really going to start with... Really, it's the last two fights. Um, yes, I'm familiar with Weidman and Silva. Um, I don't have a pick either way with either of them. They're names that I recognize, but I don't have an opinion either way. Uh, with Luke versus Buckley, I actually, I picked Buckley. I would love to see him go up in ranks. He had that one flashy knockout, and I feel like that's really what he's known for. Um, and I'd like to see him get more wins under his belt and uh, and become ranked. I'm really shocked he's not a ranked fighter. 17 and 6, he's fought a lot of fights. How are you not ranked right now? He had that one really flashy kick. Let's, uh, let's continue with that good momentum. Or has the momentum fallen already? I choose Buckley for that. Um, Aaron versus Manon. I'm going to go with Blanchfield. Not because I dislike Manon. I like Manon. But I favor Blanchfield over Igor. So those are my picks for those. Honestly, if I were going to choose from the first three fights in this main card, it would literally be a flip of the coin. Like, I just flip a coin to, to pick one. Uh, I think it was ranked previously, but lost it. And I also know Buckley has gone oh, between 170 and 185. Okay, then maybe that's it. If he has moved in weight class, maybe he was ranked in one. Or if he wasn't ranked in either, maybe, you know... He wasn't there long enough to be ranked. Oh, look at his eye. Those are some scary deep eyes. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd like to see him. I want to see him move up. Right, hopefully these guys are coming out now. I don't know if I could copy that. I'm gonna try my phone. Hold on one second, Jay. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> that is gracious. Yeah, Dumas says, uh, holy shit. That is a whole lot of mug shots. Why? 
all the way back from 2014. That's nuts. I mean, yeah, but still. Hey, next fight starting. You think so? Okay, make sure you have your volume up. I wouldn't mind this one going to decision or if a knockout's going to happen, third round. We only have two refs tonight. McKee really wears those uh, those leg kicks. He only got hit three times, and it's already pink. Four times now. <laughs> But look at McKee's leg already. It didn't take much for that uh for that bruise to start forming. He really wears those shots. He didn't check that one.
this thing up. Let's check that one. There's a possibility we'll get um, a victory by leg kicks. Because the last time he got hit, you saw him kind of bounce that, that leg. You can see that it's really hurting him now. Oh, nice take on defense. Nice. Crowd is not liking this. I mean, but can you blame the man? His leg is hurting. McGee's leg is hurting. Good job, Pete. Only 20 seconds left. Oh, man. I mean, buckling inward now. Only one or twice. Mm hmm. Breed. Breed. I can see McGee attempting for um, a takedown again in round two so that he doesn't keep uh, getting kicked in the leg. But that knee is now starting to buckle inward every time he gets hit. He's not going to make it.
for exchange of kicks. Oh, almost got a head clash. Now the inside leg kick. This dude is not going to be able to walk tomorrow. I think he's just going to separate them again. Oh, they separated themselves. Nice knee at the break. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I can deal with something today. Screw the algorithm. Thank you for the donation and for being our stream sponsor. Um, like we were saying earlier, we we're not going to monetize um, live streams for a, a few more months, um, just until this cloud or flag is no longer over us. And that day will come. Uh, so let me edit this one. And there we Appreciate you here. Yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. We will be contributing to the diaper fund again. <laughs> Thank you, dude. He looks like he's trying so hard and getting nowhere. I mean, you got to do something to it instead of just laying on him. It's a standing lane prey. Oh, Lynch's on tonight. There you go. What time is it over, though? Oh, gotcha. Good elbow right at the bell. He threw it right before the bell. Yeah. Where's Rick?
He doesn't look like he's in the fight. It looks like it just excuse me wants it to be over already. Come oh, on, good elbow. Come on, you need to fight. Later. I haven't seen that dude in a long time. Goodness gracious. All right. Hopefully some actual fighting in this third round. Oh, good kick to the body. That's really all that's happening right now. Failed attempts at takedown, and the other dude just getting pieced up by kicks in the knees to the gut. Just you see how he exhaled after that? That one hit him hard. I feel like he could finish with me at any time if he really wanted to. And a takedown. And there we go. This can be over. Uh, he faced Edge in an open challenge, which is rather interesting, considering they were stablemates years ago when Edge was doing singles in WWE. Wait, so then who won? Matt or Edge? I have no idea what's going on in the collision storylines. I'm just aware of kind of like who's there, but beyond that, I have no idea. Hello, Drew is new on the Twitch side. Who has a suggestion? What's your suggestion, Drew? How to escape the real world. Uh, good late kick. <laughs> how to escape into the matrix? Or how to escape from the matrix? Because if we're escaping, we would actually be in the matrix, right? This would be the matrix. Uh, it was an obvious victory, but throwing Matt Cardona, but throwing in Matt Cardona was a nice touch. Gotcha. You're doing pretty well. Uh, we're watching UFC right now. Let me know if you're watching UFC, if you're uh, an MMA fan. Uh, the card has been going well. 
the card has been going well so far up until there's another fight that kind of sucks. But this one, this has not been an exciting fight. And I feel like it could have been over already. But I did ask for it to go to the third round. So, oh, the dude ran right into that punch. He literally ran into that punch. Wow. How are you doing, Drew? All right, Drew's plan. We get Bugattis. Okay. And I don't get this one. But I'm with you at the Bugattis. We're escaping in the Bugattis. Yeah, that was a bad matchup. Yeah, yes. Yes, it was. And you could see that McGee is, is disappointed. I bet he's disappointed in himself. And when they showed him sitting there with his corner in between rounds, he just did not look. He didn't look like he was in it. Oh, God, I hate this commercial. Oh, shit. Let's pause it. I just wanted to mute it. I could not listen to that commercial. Yeah, it was awful. I guess Dr. Evil chose a good time to uh, run away so that he didn't have to sit through that. <laughs> yeah. The fake fights are more entertaining than the last one. It's really sad. That's not really sad, but man, that really was an awful fight. Yeah, four significant strikes by McGee in round two and three. Wow. He should have continued with those leg kicks. He could have won from that. Dude, walked right into that shit. It's so embarrassing. I, but I don't think he really took advantage of it. Because I feel like he could have finished the fight if he wanted to. I disagree with that statement. Is there a possibility that there is a 10-8 round? Because I feel like Nikki did a lot of attempting to take um, Njokwani down and failed. But with him not really throwing much, do you think that there's a 10-8 there? Yeah, but I wonder if they're trying to figure out how badly he lost. All right, let's listen. A split fucking decision?
how 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 who the fuck gives McGee the win? McGee even knows that he lost. Wow. Whoever that judge is, he was probably paid to do that shit. That's, I mean, there was no way that that was a split decision. I was waiting for, you know, 3027, 3027, Unanimous decision. There's no way that that dude won any rounds. Wow. That's just dumb. Mm hmm no way that dude won any of the rounds. There's an argument to be made that he gets a score of eight instead of a nine in the rounds that, you know, one or two of the rounds that he lost. Just dumb. It would appear that JB is just spitballing about Adam Copeland's Cope Open challenge. He mentioned Matt Cardona just by happenstance. Apparently, Cole, Tony Pye is the same as JB now. <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those dudes tune in sometimes or have somebody else from their uh, staff listen in. Um, yeah, yes, exactly. How? How? That dude must have been paid by somebody. Investigate that uh that judge. None. None. I mean, literally two of the rounds, he had four significant strikes. In each. No, I, I, I would be surprised. What's Jay's sub count now? Jay's had 156,000. Can't wait for him to get to a, a closer to a million. He's definitely going to make it there. That's going to be awesome. I think that guy landing a double leg was a big fuck you saying, I took you down on my first attempt and you failed all 10. Mm -hmm. But I'm still not impressed by that because his opponent, his opponent sucks. And you could have knocked that dude out or continued with the late kicks and gotten a TKO by late kicks. It was there for you. But I mean, I could also see where it was be, you know, difficult because he spent a lot of time uh, defending a takedown with dude. Not impressed with either of them.
Oh, got a like for Facebook. Hello there, anyone over in the Facebook land. Appreciate you dropping a like on the Facebook side. Um, anyone who is not. Anyone who is not viewing from the YouTube side. We have a nice number of viewers, but I know not all of you are on the YouTube side. Uh, we invite you over to the YouTube side uh, because this is where the majority of the chat is happening. We have a, a, great, a great crew on the TSP YouTube side. The conversations are always awesome and entertaining. You guys are the best. Uh, so yeah. For watching on any of the platforms, we thank you for taking time to be with us. We'll come over to the YouTube side and say hello. You don't bite. Oh, there we go. Uh, there is no, yes, there is no doubt that TK is watching JD every time he and Jesse are reviewing the show. He's all ears on JD. Just thinking about that is I, it's really cool for him to command their attention you know really shows how great his show is and which is why i think the 150,000 subscribers it is a significant number and impressive but i can't wait to see that number get higher for him it's gonna be really great all right Hopefully this next fight uh, is not a snooze fest. Bill versus Kyle. Can I vote for Kyle Nelson just because I like his uh his reading? Monster. Then he has the uh, facial hair to match. So Captain Paul released a new video. Um, you guys are welcome to switch back and forth between the, the three minutes video or watch the video when the stream is over because we're still waiting for this next fight to start. Uh, but it is named Epilogue of Captain Paul. Um, I haven't watched all of it yet. Uh, Pink Sue watched it because she was the one who edited the video. Um, she did get a little emotional watching it. So, um, I'll give it my full attention when this uh, when this stream is over. But you know, I think uh, this new video is worth a watch. Let me get a moment. And the video's on the TSP side. So I realize I should specify which channel because Captain Paul has the same channel.
they already showed the UFO and it's the same fucking commercial a second time or third time. I hope these guys are walking out to the page now. You know I mean? It's another reason why we need Dan to be here. Dan, I hope your spidey senses are tingling because we need you to let us know if the fighters are walking out to the page because I know you don't see the commercials that you do. Oh, yay, one of the fighters is in the cage. My goodness. And Kyle Nelson is zero five and one as a UFC underdog. He's the underdog tonight. Oof. This one is already more exciting than the last one. Oh, nice dodge from Algeo. Nelson was trying to take his head off. Damn, battle of the kicks. Oh, good right by uh, Nelson. It's getting a little too wild. We got a little rock'em sock'em robots for a moment. It looks like a Canadian lumberjack.
<laughs> oh, nice leg kick by Nelson. And then he receives one. Oh, oh, my knee hurt looking at that. Algeo wasn't able to touch that kick and then knee buckled in. He switched stance now, Algeo. I think that uh, left leg is tired of getting kicks. Nice body kick. That last fight fucking sucked. Man, that fight was awful. This one's way more exciting. Well, that was my original fight of the night pick until we saw what we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You watched the last fight, right? Yeah, well, I watched part of it. Yeah, I saw, it, I, I saw it. Right. Yeah. That, that's just weirdness. Straight up. Yeah, one of those situations where you need to uh, investigate the judge. That's shit. Nelson put a little bit of a oh shit. Well, that Watch second breath. like well you hold breath as well. Algeo is about to go out. <laughs> oh man. Yo, know, my guy did the ultimate funky chicken. You better do something. That ref is ready to jump in and get punched himself. Look at him. Yeah, I have to disagree with you, Dave. That was a good stoppage. My guy was doing the stanky leg, funky chicken all over the cage. I understand why Bill is upset. I can understand why, Dave, you think it's a bad stoppage. But if we're really being like for real, for real, It, it's, it's it looks like he's about it, to go. It, it was a good stoppage. Look at that. Yeah, that that's see, look at him. Look, whoop, whoop. It's hard to see him go out like yeah, that that's a kill shot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, look at that. He's just taking shot after shot. Three chin shots, four chin shots, five chin shots. Yeah. Five in a row. Yeah. With yeah. There's no attempt at his own strike. And, and, and the thing is, like, Dave, I want Bill Algeo to win this fight. But that, that was a good stoppage. Yeah, we, we can see with this ref compared to the other ones, you need to show that you're still in it. Someone like Herb Dean or one of the other refs, maybe they would have let it go on for longer. Um, this guy don't play. Gonna correct something on here real quick. Mm -hmm. We got to give Missouri their respect. Oh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, I'm a big Bill Algeo fan. You know, he got um he got toe tagged. Normally I it's very funny to me when that funky chicken comes out. Mm -hmm. Not when it's a, 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 a stand up guy like Bill Algeo. 
I want to thank Jeremy Lewis for sponsoring the stream. I really do appreciate you, brother. Why doesn't uh, the UFC's uh, drug testing pool test the uh, the uh, the dwarf uh, referee? Yeah, I, I agree with you, Jake. I want to see if they'll fight live to fight another day. Yes, yes, talk that, talk that monster, talk that. Look, look, look. Ooh, 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 yeah. ooh. <laughs> look. Ooh. But Bill Algio was the man, you know. Do you see how he took them kill shots and was like, yo, bring on some more? Mm <laughs> Another dwarf. <laughs> Is it possible to make the burger hot? I think I could be verified, especially like if you want to, you know, feed some more of these, you know, Bones. you know, burgers go right in here. <laughs> you burgers you One is fine for now. Thank you. I appreciate that. One of those two strawberries. Take that. Uh, you want to give me the dressing too? So wait, are they about to induct the UFC into the UFC Hall of Fame?
I think they're about to induct the UFC into the UFC Hall of Fame. That's what this this that's what this video package. That's what this video package looks like. Uh, I didn't know anything about this, but um, I can tell you that I'm really, really getting annoyed with, uh, I'm really, really getting annoyed with how gambling is taking over professional sports. And, you know, I, I know of someone that, you know, is creating a new service so that you know there there would be more gambling you know i i i really couldn't tell you about the problems that women have with gambling cuz i don't really know but i know that it's a huge problem for men and for many men, gambling is actually, it's an addiction. And um, I think that the addiction destroys families, it destroys lives. You know, men are at really high rates. Men, um, when it comes to self-termination, you know, men, Men remove themselves from life. They, they do it very often. And we've seen what the opioid epidemic has done to white people. We saw what the crack epidemic did to black people. And now, they want me to be mad at Shohei Otani betting when every inning is sponsored by DraftKings or some other garbage. I, I think that they are contributing to, to more despair and pain, especially for men. I think that what they're bringing is a scourge. You're going to see more, more men taking their own lives. These guys are already having a really tough time in society. And now you have people that are going to actively try to use some form of competitive escapism to get filthy rich. while families are torn apart and men's lives are destroyed. You know, I will say that not all money is, is good money. I think Luke, Luke Thomas has enough money to live comfortably. And I think that there were other sponsorship opportunities. Maybe Luke Thomas just didn't see the damage that it does. Maybe, maybe they don't care. You know, we live in a weird society where nobody wants you to do anything that's bad unless that they can monetize it for themselves. You know, the government wants to make everything illegal unless they can collect taxes from it. I just, I just, I just don't like it. 
And I have to tell you, Jake, you're incorrect. The most infamous cheater of all time is the all-time hits leader in Major League Baseball. Yeah, I, you know, and the thing is, again, you know, they're, 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 yeah, you know, JD is a smaller content creator, you know, you know, he wants that dark horse, you know, somebody approaches him, you know, but I don't think Luke Thomas is, you know, up and coming. I don't think that he needed Uh, I don't believe that John T. Porter bet at all. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that John T. Porter actually cheated. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting to see the investigation and how it comes out. Um, I don't believe that he did this. You know, uh, but I don't think that you can look at Otani and say, oh, he's so rich and so this and so that. The guy that he, I, I believe that he did bet. I do not believe that an interpreter would be given a four and a half million dollar line of credit by any bookie, period. They would have broken that guy's legs long ago. <laughs> An interpreter, interpreter work does not pay that much money. It just doesn't. Nobody is going to allow him to get four and a half million dollars in debt and then easily get the credentials to some other super rich guy and just have access to all his bank accounts. I'm just not buying it. Thank you, lady. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I believe Shohei Otani uh, you used that interpreter the way he's always used that interpreter, and then he made him the fall guy. $300,000 is not in the same neighborhood as $4.5 million. Only multi-millionaires are given credit lines that long by bookies. Nobody is going to allow someone to bet to the tune deep into the seven figures at $300,000 a year salary. And the fact that he could make these bets while not having that money? No, not, not four and a half million dollars, man. And while $300,000 is a lot compared to the average USA salary, the, the guy that's in the average amount of gambling debt is what, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 in debt when it gets really bad? Not. 4.5 million US dollars. There was no way that they would allow him when he does not have the assets to cover those bets. He didn't have the assets to cover those bets. Not at $300,000 a year. And for him to just be like, oh, I can get $4.5 million. Let me steal the account credentials. Yeah, he can be a liar, and he's still lying. I believe that he's lying, that he's the one that made those bets to save Otani's reputation in his career. So, yeah, I believe he's a liar, but I also think that he is a very convenient patsy. He's a very convenient patsy, patsy. And he has changed his story multiple times. I do not believe that he was involved in the betting. And if he was involved in the betting, it was him placing the bets on behalf of Otani. That's what I believe.
And now he's falling on the sword to save Otani's career. The $700 million plus, there's over a billion dollars. There's over a billion dollars on the line. When you talk about Otani's $700 million contract and the endorsement deals that he has. There's a lot of money on the line. So it's very, it's very easy and convenient to throw a guy under the bus that didn't play baseball and didn't earn all of that money anyway. That interpreter making $300,000 a year or Otani making $70 million a year. And who is going to extend a better line of credit that long? Are you going to extend that credit to somebody who has a $700 million contract? Even, even before Otani had the $700 million contract, when he won the, the, his arbitration case, at the time it was an MLB record, $30 million that he made last year in his arbitration season. If you're a bookie, do you give the $4.5 million line of credit to a guy that makes $300,000 a year or $30 million a year? Otani made those bets, and MLB is going to cover it up. The Dodgers are a huge money maker for MLB. They cannot have the smear on them after they celebrated this massive contract, and he's got all these endorsement deals with all these companies like New Balance and, and all that. There is no way. They're going to let their golden goose go down for the same thing that Pete Rose went out for. Not going to happen. It's a weird deal. Uh, Jake Miller says it's a weird deal because since Otani's money is in his parents' account and someone had to allow that withdrawal, his family had to know. You see, that's, what, that's the type of shit I'm talking about, man. And they want you to believe that we're stupid. They really want you to believe we're stupid. MLB is going to cover this up. Ruzabov, that guy is kind of tall. He's kind of big. We were uh, discussing earlier um, Musk's, uh, all of his mugshots. Oh, he's got a massive criminal record? like 13. Oh, wow. That's awful. That's a lot. I was kind of excited to see him. I didn't know it was all like that. Uh, here we go. Damn. First one is in 2014. And there is the recent one. I did hear that he had a charge, but I didn't hear. Twenty twenty-four, last month. For domestic. I have to look it up. It's hard to tell from. It's just so. Oh, he had a fight of some kind. Some kind of assault charge or something. <laughs> Jake. You cannot tell me that everybody, everybody's betting around him. Everybody's going to take the fall. The simplest explanation 
is that he's been betting. <laughs> you know, that's the simplest explanation. That means Dumas is not going to be able to fight outside the United States. He won't be able to get a visa. Mm -hmm. Good bro. I'm not mad about it. Wow. I'm surprised he was able to get a visa. Oh. I was talking to Lewis Rossman about this, and he was saying how the first people who put into Social Security, they put they put in forty five dollars and took out twenty two thousand dollars. I have to show that replay one more time because when the hands went down, it seemed like that was on the other side, not on the side where he was cut. Let's see. Right there. No. He didn't react to that there. Yeah. No, so no, we're talking about total. So the first the the the, the first people put in a total of forty five dollars. You're talking about when they first created it. And then in the end they ended up taking out twenty two thousand all total. So he took out way more than they ever put in. So what Lewis was saying is is that the social security system is a massive government sponsored Ponzi scheme. Mm But the problem is, is that the people who are putting a whole bunch of money in today, because of the older generation, the people pouring all the money in, they're not going to get anything out. So, you know, the, the latest generation are going to be the ones that are left holding the bag when it's empty. Most eye, most eye pokes are not intentional, by the way. Well, the blood is from the bridge of the nose. Yeah, his eye isn't bleeding. 
torch of the nose. Mm -hmm. They're going to turn both of into a meme for that. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to the interpreter while you try to listen to the guy you need to interpret for. This is not how the interview goes, sir. What? Yeah, that's an eye poke. Oh, yeah. Well, now you know it was on that side. How many eyes are you going to poke? Mm The interpreter needs an interpreter. Mm -hmm. Is he going to hurt himself? Yes. Yeah. I really wish that they go back and review stuff like that, you know, mm -hmm. because he clawed the shit out of his eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uppercut looks great when your eye is poked. <laughs> What about the, the Queen's English? Should be all right. The jail doesn't like the comedy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. Can I say real? You <laughs> said nice finish. This being said, it wasn't his fault when it was 
when it was, and he claimed it was a fist when they showed fingers up in his eyes. Yeah, they had to watch the replay a couple of times. Um, you know, it's obvious the guy got poked in the eye, and, but maybe it wasn't so obvious in real time. Sometimes you get fighters that complain about an eye poke and you look at the knuckle in their eye, which is where it belongs, you know? Yes. Wow, look at that. Uh huh. Tempting. Mm -hmm. That was a word that came to mind. I already see the wheels turning. So unfortunately, unfortunately, we're stuck watching a fighter that really really should be done in the UFC. Uh, I am I'm done. I, I'm just I just don't need to see Chris Moidman fight anymore. And Bruno Silva has looked like shit. Both of these guys need a, needed to be released from the UFC. Nah, he didn't do it when he was in New York and he got embarrassed. It's annoying, man. We're, yo, go away. Why even damn? He has one of the most iconic wins in the history of the UFC. Be happy with that. Move on. Seems like that to keep making um, stronger and stronger mm -hmm. anti-allergy meds every couple of years, it seems. Mm -hmm. You know, showing these commercials over and over again is not going to get me to watch any of this bullshit. You have to see each one. Shitty soccer, shitty spring times. football. It's all shitty. Do, 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 do. 
Oh my God, this commercial over and over and over and over and over and over again. Golly. Awful. Here are the comeback of this guy who keeps losing fights and nobody wants to see him. Oh, you're good, Mason. You're good, Mason. It's all good, man. People, they, they, they come into the stream. They hang out for a couple of minutes, they check out, they come back in. We're here for many, 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 many hours. So yeah, man. I mean, not expected to see there for. There are a couple of live streams that, like, I've, yeah. like, really participated in front to back. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of the times I'm in and out of the stream. Mm -hmm. You know, depending on what I'm doing, especially if it's during work hours or like when yeah, just Jeremy wanna... live streams with um, Otis, I'll interact the first few minutes and then I kind of have you guys out in the background. This is probably working. Yep. Bruno Silva is also not very good. Yeah. Yeah, you got other things to do. That's cool. We're happy each time you pop back in and interact. And we're like, oh, you're back. Welcome. Mm -hmm. And you're our newest, newest member, man. Part of the family, man. One of the things I got to say, GDs keeps, <laughs> they always people. support, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like they always support him. So you have to watch each commercial again at least seven more times. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even watch men's soccer. The fuck you mean we're going to watch women's soccer? Although I got to say, they, they really do need to start marketing this stuff to women. Because the only way that any of these women's sports are, are going to do anything is if the women sit down and watch it. But if the women keep watching Real Housewives of Garbage, of garbage human beings. And, and you know, and they put all their, their uh, money into cosmetics and, and trashy reality TV. Then, you know, the women's sports are just never going to get to the level that a lot of the feminists want it to be. The reality is, is that if the women aren't absolutely gorgeous, the main consumer of professional sports, which is men, will not care. That's the reality. That's the reality. Bruno Silva looks out of shape. This, this is gonna be this is gonna be bad, guys. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Sonny. What good, man. It is good to see you, man. Very nice entrance. Well, that he makes the entrance in only the way that he can. Only the way that he can. How are you, sir? I was just talking about... Uh, I was just talking about Lewis Rossman. I had a conversation with him yesterday. Talking about the... Uh, Finer points of life. We gotta get Sunny back over here. Okay. That would be very interesting. Very nice. That would be very interesting. Let us know when you do. No, that's not the problem. I just want him to lose. Uh, how is Lewis? Is he single or married? Uh, legally single. Uh, in practice, somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. I just don't know if there's any fight that I looked at it. I was like, I don't want to see this. This is a fight I do not want to see. No. Well, hopefully it's not worse than that other fight earlier. Where a judge the victory to someone who and that means the fight wasn't necessarily bad but the judges no, the again fight, the fight was awful. Oh, it was okay it was awful. and the judging made it even worse because it it seemed suspicious there's a dude in rounds two and round three four significant strike and they and somebody gave him two rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are the situations where I want to hear from Dana. As David said, yeah, the duty. That I def, those are the times I want to hear from um, the guy, Dana White. And the guy who really won. It was not an impressive win. But it was clear that he won. But it's clearly. How 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 long do you think that guy's on for? Mm -hmm. Not very. Relative to the rest of his body, pretty long. Dog doo. That guy. Yeah, no, it's good. It, this is one that you wanted to miss. You guys ready for an eye poke? Again? Yeah, because he points his fingers right at his opponent. Look, mm -hmm. look at that. And he's reaching his Both hands. And and the and the referee is not is not saying anything to him. You're not supposed to point your fingers at your opponent anymore.
He's got a lot of hands. Yeah, they're really rooting for Weidman. Mm -hmm. Silva's so bad. You gotta do something. This is the ref that will stop it. He's trying to. He's got his toes in the cage. Yeah, anytime there's some crazy stuff, Jeremy, I always go like the next morning or the same night if I'm not tired, and listen to see if the press asks him certain questions about certain controversy and see what he says about them. Yo, is Silva just going to do this the whole fucking fight? Well, the uh, thing is, he's got, he's got an Olympic-level wrestler on his back. There's really not a whole lot he can do here. Come on. And he's a striker, not a wrestler. <laughs> I really wish the ref would separate him. He's just leaning on his back. Mm -hmm. Separate the guys, bring it back to the middle. This is incredibly boring. There's no, exactly, like, there's no advancement going on. Separate these guys, like. And that's what I said. One of the judges can give it to Silva. Hey, anything to get Weidman out of the UFC. That was awful. This is as bad as I expected it was going to be. That was as bad as I expected it was going to be. That 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 was that was awful. I mean, I I, I would be happy if there was a German suplex, Jeremy. Awful, just awful, man. You know, and I'm I'm trying to make it to the end of this card. We can do it. More fights after this.
Yeah, you humped him against the side of the cage. Good job, Weidman. If you could just, if you could just hump a bunch of people, if you could just hump a bunch of people, we can force people to watch, to watch you fight when, when you're not entertaining to watch. And you're not good anymore. Why did he put him up against this shitty ass fighter, though, man? Get them both out of the UFC. I mean, seriously. Well, there you got two non ranked guys three high in the uh, main card lineup. Yep, there's there, yeah, there's the, the level change. I knew it was coming. I really want Silva. Here it goes. I really want Silva to land a knockout. And the thing is, what did I say about Weidman's fucking fingers since the beginning of this fight? What have I said about his fingers? Yeah, it was a thumb. That's some Ric Flair shit right there. Oh, get him out of the UFC. Get him out. Well, I poked him in the eye. I didn't push. I didn't really that push. Bad. Rep sounds like he's from Jersey. Look, look, look how Silva is overcommitted. Yeah, he's way he's over the sloppy. center. Yeah, he's way over the center line. His, his, his balance is trash. His discipline is trash. And you, you have to give him some grace because he's really trying to guard against getting taken down, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, good God. Looks like Weidman is going to try to poke him in the eye again. This looks awkward. Mm -hmm. All everything about this looks awkward.
I got Sova winning this round, though. And uh, Weidman and the fans losing the round. There's a big left hand from Sova there. Woo, got some blood. This is not a good look for Sova at the end of the round. And so he basically just gave Weidman the round. He just okay. gave he just gave That's the round to Weidman. Now. Yay. Now Silva needs a knockout to get Wyman out of the UFC. <sighs> well, I guess the silver lining is is that after Silva loses, they'll get yeah. him out of the UFC. Hey, what up, Tap? It's uh, been hit or miss. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some crazy stuff, Tap, but other stuff, I don't know, man. The fight that we're watching right now just fucking blows, man. <laughs> I was tired before. That shit is definitely making me more tired. The matchups that were good were great. The ones that are not are really awful in our dog doo-doo. But how are you? We need to get tapped into the stream earlier to hang out with the crew. <laughs> I'm not going to front. The action has picked up, but it's not the action that I want. You know? <laughs> yeah, we're we're... Well, I gotta tell you, I feel like bleeding I, I from just, the eyes. Yeah. So weird. Oh, he poked this in the eye again. Two eye pokes. Oh my god! There goes no. the point. And the thing is, I've been, point, about, I've been talking about I've been talking about Weidman's fingers since the fight started. So gotta take the point though from Weidman. He did it twice. No, that was a punch. Again. Silva punched him. That's a punch. Doesn't cancel out, though. Yeah, there is a thumb in the eye. Yeah, but he's punching him. What is he supposed to do? He's throwing a punch. The other guy is just poking him in the eye. He's been pointing his fucking fingers in Silva's face since the beginning of the fight. Same eye, yeah. No, you have to take the point. He was doing so well. That's crazy, man. This whole card, this rep. Yeah, he totally now. Taken, he should have taken the point from Wyman. You know, we're probably going to get a third eye poke anyway, because... Yeah, because Wyvern so won't does. stop. Look, it, it, this is so frustrating.
Yeah, he keeps pointing his fucking fingers right in Sola's face. And you know you can get a foul just you get you can get a foul just for extending your fingers out towards your opponent. Maybe this referee either doesn't know that or those are not the rules in New Jersey. Look, he keeps sticking his fucking fingers toward him. Like stop. Turn your fingers up. Now Silva's got to worry about the threat of the takedown and the threat of the eye poke. Come on, man. You got poked in the eye again. You got poked in the eye a third time. That's awful. That is the worst case scenario. He poked the guy in the eye three times. That's the third time he got poked in the eye. So Chris Wyman gets a TKO by eye poke. Look, he keeps this again. Again? He just keeps poking the man in his fucking and he poked him again. That's four eye pokes. That's four eye pokes. Wow. One eye poke, two eye poke. <laughs> oh boy. He poked him in the eye four times. He poked <laughs> he poked him in the eye twice. In this, get both of these niggas out the UFC, please. Please get them both out of the UFC, please. Yo, tap. That's the comment of the screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I did it four times. You're not sorry. He poked them twice! He don't know one, two, I poke! They better call it a TKO via eye pokes. Yeah, he's an old fucking dude. You know better. This would. Uh, this is actually worse than I expected. They gave it to him anyway. That feels. You see, fixed. the ref is not happy. That that that, that feels ref fixed. Is not happy. That feels fixed. Do we have to listen to it? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, I don't. I don't want to hear anything he has to say. It feels so good. You poke the nigga in the eye twice in the same exchange. You poke the guy in the eye four times. And you have the nerve to fucking celebrate like you did something. Now he gets a bullshit win and gets to stay in the UFC. This feels fucking rigged. That felt rigged as fuck. Oh, notice how they're not showing any replays. Mm -mm. Right? Hey, do you want to look at your handiwork up there? Let's no, we don't want to show that. No, we don't, we don't, we don't want to show that. Let's show the fight ending sequence. Because if, if we show because if we show the fight ending sequence, we'll find your fingers. All the way at the back of his fucking skull. <sighs> fucking garbage, man. Yo, that shit makes me just want to end the stream, yo. That shit really pissed me off. Now he's going to get seven more fights in the UFC when he should have been released two, three, four fights ago. That is absolutely fucking disgraceful. Actually, that's the first time he closed his fist after the fight for a fucking picture. And I was complaining about his fucking fingers being pointed out since 10 seconds into the first round. I was complaining about that shit. Yeah, I would I would love I would love for them to look at that and be like, that's not a real win. How are you gonna have two fights end in favor of the guy that did the eye poke that led to the end of the fight? It happened to fucking Cedricus earlier. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna have two fights like that? Mm -hmm. TKO via eye poke. Yeah, we're in we're in New York, man. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we're in New York, man. Where are you tapped? He's tapped out. Anywhere uh, near the tri-state area? I wanted Chris to lose solely so I cannot be nervous every time he throws a kick. Now I'm, a ner now I'm nervous. The thing yeah. is, the thing is punch. but the thing is, the dude is not even throwing punches. He's just poking motherfuckers in the face. Yeah, he said I'm tweeting Dana right. <laughs> oh my god. He won't be the only one. His inbox should be flooded. Flood it. So they changed it to a unanimous decision? After watching the replay?
I, I can't go to unanimous decision. Oh, yeah, be, yeah, okay, yeah. So he won by decision because they scored the fight. They scored the 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 fight at the point that he did all the eye pokes. Such garbage, man. Uh yeah, how are you gonna say it wasn't all that? <laughs> but it was during that kind of... <laughs> Oh man, you've been to uh, Tennessee a few times. Not not Memphis though, right? Uh Nashville. Nashville. I've been to Nashville I think four times now. Hey man, we can always get something done though, you know what I mean? We can always get something done. Tennessee is not, I mean, plane ride wise, just a short plane ride. But if you're ever in New York, you're welcome to join the live stream. Yeah, of course. That'd be cool. That was awful. <laughs> You got secondhand embarrassment from watching it. Yeah, man. Like, that was awful. That was absolutely terrible. They should change the decision to a win for Weidman, uh, TKO by eye pokes. Mm hmm. Hill training to main event, the backyard barbecue rematch versus his brother. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. The um the 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 DV. Now I know what you're talking about, Jake. Now I know what you're talking about. I cannot believe the UFC is trying to turn the BMF thing into a real belt. Yeah. Stop it. It was nice the first fight. We don't need to keep Yeah, like it. the rock, you know, put the put the belt on him and all of that. Mm -hmm. That was cool. You know? Now it's just ultra ultra corny. Hey, we got three title fights. No you don't. No you don't. So we got a new Mansa, Joaquin Buckley. Oh, wow. Uh, Gilbert Burns is pulling double duty today. But this is his first time. Yo, Silva had at least, like, a whole hand's representatives of Weidman's in his eyeballs. It def to me, it should have been a no contest, but that's not the rules.
I, I thought that, but the thing is, is that the rules are the rules, and the rules state that when you have fouls and the and the and the fight ends due to fouls toward the end of the fight, I think uh, in the third round, that they go to the scorecards and Silva was just a worse fight, a worse fighter than Weidman. So Weidman ends up getting, and the thing is, Silva could have definitely gotten into a situation where he could have gotten, he could have gotten that, um, that knockout. He could have. But Brendan Allen is absolutely correct. And um, it's really, really, really unfortunate. Yeah. Yo, that really felt like Silva had the whole bloodline in the cage. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I mean that's, much. is that not true, but it definitely felt that way. Now what happens if Silva loses his eyes due to an infection because this guy's dirty fucking fingers will all up in his fucking eye socket? And that is the PFL champion. Hmm. <laughs> but I'm supposed to be like, yeah, that's a great organization with top level fighters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He could just soccer kick his nut sacks. It's just unfortunate, man. I was really looking forward to Weidman being out of the UFC. Now they're probably going to sign him to a new seven-fight deal after his win by eye pokes. Well, Chris Weidman was not held responsible for his actions. <laughs> Rick is an asshole. Yo, you're slacking. How are you just dropping the dislike now? You've been here, what, three hours? Come on. He's been here a total of 12 minutes over three hours. <laughs> yeah. Fyodor Jan messed up versus Aljo. Should have need him in the jewels instead of the face. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, it's cra yeah, it's crazy how like um, <laughs> no, it's crazy how Piotr Jan was winning that fight, 
but they gave the DQ win to Aljo, and that was pretty deep in the fight, right? <laughs> Actually, we were just talking about that, Rick. You know, most dip in and out, completely understand. But still, I'm disappointed that you waited this long to drop the dislike. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I just think it's weird. Like, if you're going to give Chris Wyden that win, then you got to go back and give Piotr Jan that other win against Aljo. Mm. You can tell that guy is using um, hair coloring. Mm. Weidman is a former world champion and has a shit ton of fights on the UFC banner. He probably got, I want to say probably two, Hundred to show, two hundred to win. Yeah, this is not a bad guess. Two fifty to show, two fifty to win. Hey, man, maybe I should start sticking my fucking fingers out in people's faces. Um, I think that 299 was a better card. Borderline mediocre, I think, is a little harsh, but you know, 300 could, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. 300's prelims might be better than 300's main card. There's a case to be made for that. And I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, let, let Weidman go to, like, I don't know, some weird backyard wrestling fucking promotion or something. I don't know. It's awful. <laughs> oh man, I think everybody Definitely everybody would yeah, everybody would have watched that shit. I, I do agree with you. Although um Musk has a decided weight advantage.
can't say anything and try to touch gloves. They just try to kick each other. Musk is an independent dude, but I think Zuck would have been cool with giving UFC a cut. Nah, it would have happened under the UFC banner. They would have done it under the UFC banner. Neither guy would be doing the fight for the money. Yeah, Zuck does nothing but train. So even though Zuck would be giving up maybe 20 or 30 pounds, um, he would win that fight handily. You know, I've always been a fan of Vicente Luque. The problem is that in big spots, he doesn't come through. And sometimes when he loses, he doesn't lose valiantly. He he loses looking real, like he's not himself. Buckley is fighting on very, very disciplined. Aggressive, but disciplined. That's a nice inside uh, leg kick there from Buckley. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, I just, guys that have had, like, real brain injuries, those are also guys I want out of the UFC. Not because I dislike them. And the crazy thing is, I don't really dislike Weidman either. Some of these guys I don't want to see fight anymore because I don't want to see a tragedy happen. Very interesting footwork from Buckley. To the moon. He tried to take his head off. You know, actually, Jake, I, I look at it as Vicente Luque is a much larger individual than I 
than I remember. Because Buckley is not a small guy. Pause. Also, uh, Buckley is cutting down the 170. He used to fight at 185. It looks like he got like shorter. <laughs> Oh, flying knee attempt for Buckley. Buckley's got some heavy hands. But the thing is, his movements are really big. So Luque is able to avoid the, the actual true damaging shot. I think he knows what punches are going to be more likely to lead to a fight ending sequence. Yeah, that was a good kick. Inside calf kick. Yeah, he's looking for that big home run shot. It's almost like he sees like it's almost like a hitter. It looks like the the baseball looks like a watermelon, <laughs> and then it turns into a pea. Like, oh shit! All right, so Luke just um, basically. Full guard here. Not a good position for Buckley to be in. You can't turtle up with this ref. We will stop. This is not Keith Peterson, right? No, it is. Yeah. Never mind. You can with this ref. Never mind. The no neck Keith Peterson. The other ref would have stopped it. You did nothing. Yeah. He was he was stuck. Yeah, he's, he looks emotional. Mm 
that was anticlimactic. Well, Buckley can throw bombs all day and night. Yeah, he was definitely loading up trying to get that highlight reel knockout. So yeah, that was not uh, the most compelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Keith Peterson definitely gave him a chance. Yeah, you got these guys throwing. You got this guy throwing haymakers. You got to you got to say the only the movement he's doing is to curl up even yeah. tighter. Yep. Yep. And that's what I'm talking about when it comes to Vicente Luque. Like I really want to like Yeah, that's my guy. Nope. Nope. Just no. Can't find the cursor fast enough. It's the same stupid commercials over and over and over for sports leagues I will never watch. <laughs> Except for the NHL. Listen, man, in street fighting, anything goes. <laughs> Shit. Hey, Rick. Jab him in the hey, eye. And I'm going to make a move. And then the first thing I'm going to hear from you uh, is it was all dick and balls, man. <laughs> as I'm as I'm loading up uh -huh. my foot. <laughs> yep. For another crotch shot. Mm -hmm. I'll go and get the doctor. The doctor says it wasn't. Nope. The doctor's not even going to show up because it's a street fight. Fuck that shit. Like it was all dick and balls, man. It was all dick and balls. It didn't even look like um, Luke really took any damage in that exchange, but he just didn't make any moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Buckley is never going to be a, a contender. Unless he, like, really goes crazy taking his training very, very seriously. The last fight. You want to show the finish in that last fight, though. Monday we teach this. Is if you want to splash your groin gravy, you hot sick and old baby. Your best friend will be fucking swore. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> this motherfucker said groin gravy.
Yeah, the doctor in the hospital will say he saw the CCTV footage and there was no evidence you were hitting the groin. Yep. <laughs> what if Wyman pulled out Mr. Sacco and did the eye poke? Terrible. <laughs> what do you think about growing gravy? You should send the link to Jeremy and just. <laughs> <laughs> I will now. Thank you, him. All right, uh, Jeremy. So, <laughs> Jeremy, don't say nothing. Jeremy. All right, after just, just, just check your Discord, yo. Check your Discord. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, my God, man. <laughs> oh man check your discord mid montana smart i know it's missouri okay. Yeah, I think we've seen the end of Vicente Luque as any kind of contender. I, I that's that's the end of him, and uh, I'm I'm a little bit uh, frustrated at that. But I like watching Joaquin Buckley fight, so you know it's not like oh my god, it's so horrible. <laughs> Oh, man. So, Dr. Evil <laughs> sends me these videos while I'm at work. And I'm like, here goes another one. I can't watch it, obviously, because I'm at work. <laughs> but then he sits there with that smirk. <laughs> this is how you tell someone to move their bag at the gym. Yeah, that, that one is a viral one. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he eated that bag, didn't he? You working arms on Monday, Jeremy? <laughs> yep, we all do. Actually, I hit chest tomorrow. I hit chest tomorrow. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, test day falls for me on Sunday. Uh, and Thursday, this coming week. She, she spanked her booty to get out of that fight. Yeah, yeah I have everything on a rotating, uh, I have everything uh, rotating. So every, every fifth working day, you know, it changed, you know, so, you know, tomorrow is chess. The next day is row. The day after that is shoulders. The day after that is like pull ups and lap pull downs. Watch, it's going to take the whole 30 minutes. No, I'm talking about like the, this, I, I think this fight goes to decision. I hope I'm wrong. I would love to see a first or a second round. Yep, finally. 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 Yeah, main event time, but like, you know, get these tiny women in here, you know, the, the, you know, I just hope I get lucky in there. It's like a very quick, you know, I'll take that. Although neither one of these women look like they really, I mean, Blanchfield gets some, but Fioro seems to be more of a, a striker. What do you think about the main event for UFC 300? I think it's actually kind of weak. The strongest of the, of the fights uh, are the two Chinese women. That's the strongest. Um, I don't, again, I, I'm, I'm soured. My opinion of the light heavyweight division in the UFC has soured. And BMF is not a real belt featuring fighters who should be fighting for the actual fucking titles in their actual fucking weight classes. So no, I don't, I'm not, I'm not happy with uh, the way that 
uh, is set up for UFC 300. Your opinion? Yeah, I wish we had better fights for a 300 event. If we weren't a 300 event, I'd be like, okay. The 300 is supposed to be significant. This is Sparta. We had a kick from dude in the chest and he called on well. You know? Um, so it doesn't feel as grand as I expected it to feel. Or the 300. The UFC. I also don't really care for Jamal Hill. Seems like a snooze fest when he's on the screen. Yeah. No. Sweet dreams. He's a bad dude. It just. Sweet dreams. He's kind of boring. Nah. I did actually. Yeah, we did see it. But we won't talk about it on stream in the event that other people. Have you guys seen the film? We watched it in the theater. Um, I didn't know what to expect from the film. It was not what I expected. I'm um, just keeping it at that. We'll probably get another card later this year, and we'll all be like, this should have been UFC 300. His arms are so short. He has one arm at a time. Can't do it. <laughs> Both arms. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if he really wants to be a wrestler. I don't know what Zach Efron wants to do all of that. Mm. People talk about a lot of things, Jeremy. Jay, are you listening? Oh, man. I think you should raise the volume up on your TV or computer. What does that work? Oh, sorry. We'll enjoy this for you. There he goes. I thought for a show that has been advertised heavily, considering it's a massive number for the UFC, the car would have. Been, well, they tried to make it better, but they couldn't get fighters to agree to fights because UFC 300 happens um, less than a week after Ramadan ends, and so you have a bunch of fighters that you know they want to fight on that card and they're not able to train as hard as they need to to try to win those fights because they basically don't eat for a long time. So they really did try to make, they really did try to make um, fights with bigger names and stuff. They wanted the welterweight title on the on the line. They tried to pay John Jones to come back early, but he's still injured. That kind of stuff. So oh, yeah, I know Chavo Guerrero was a big part of that uh yeah. film. Yeah. Was he a director he, or he a writer? Producer.
think there was um, other wrestlers, not just. And I don't remember all the names, but I remember when we were watching the end credits. We were like, oh, that person, that person. Yep, I am. Mm-hmm. I am. And I wish they would just let this fucking fight start. Like, th- like this could have ended already. Yeah. Yep. Always happens when these uh, 10 p.m. main cards. Yeah. Manon has a very long torso. That's a massive takedown. Oh, wow. Guillotine. And she escaped. She's trying to get her hand in there. Good job from Blanchfield catching the neck. Unfortunately, she didn't keep it, so we can go to bed. Almost there, babe. One side of uh, Aaron Blanchfield's face changed color. Yeah. Because she has one of those fourth marks in the face. Right. Or she was in uh, Agni Kai with her father and he burned her face. Yeesh. Now we know it's uh, in your mind. This is the left side. Yeah. On the left side.
I think we're off on this again. Yeah. This looks like there's going to be a lot of pitter patter until the final bell. But this is a good time for me to get a scoop of protein so I can use it <laughs> to recover. I'm going to get a scoop of protein. Oh, oh, my legs are so heavy. I feel like one eyelid droop faster than the other. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Jeremy said, his son makes a similar face when he's milk drunk. <laughs> oh, man. Aaron has no head movement, just marches and keeps on a center line. Yeah, and it's just like during those pitter-patters, as he was saying, in hopes that one of them lands. There's some other female fighters like that where they're just throwing out these punches, shadow box type punches, hoping that one of them makes con contact. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, no, check under the thing. <laughs> Could be worse. We could see the windows, but that wouldn't last long. If I did. Dr. Abel is struggling to make a protein shake. Well, we were cleaning the kitchen. Blanchfield just, Blanchfield looks so sloppy. I don't remember her being this sloppy. I mean, is it just because she's facing a taller fighter? So it has her all yeah. awkward. And every time she gets hit, she gets reset. She just walks right into a punch. She's so awkward today. She did not look that, uh, that dominant in the last fight either. Mm -hmm. yeah. Her kicks are more accurate, but they're not significant. The commentary said, yeah, she's just marching forward with a half-hearted attempt.
<laughs> He's trying, though. <laughs> That's what you want to hear, talking about the main event. Trying, though. Cardio kickboxing class. Now let's start doing the housekeeping. Kyle Nelson, you did win. Well, uh, probably won't be fighter of the night. Reed McKee, Kyle Nelson, Ruzi, obviously did some eye pokes. Bruno Silva got his eye poked. Buckley did get a stoppage win. And Blanchfield probably won't be popular with. Emers, nope. Uh, Dumas, nope. I don't know who you who you mean by belt buckle. Uh, and Aaron. Jason DeMaio is our newest member here on YouTube. And our stream sponsor is Jeremy Lewis, the mid Montana smart. Helping us to uh, fight the algorithm five dollars at a time. We appreciate you. <laughs> protein, protein. Yeah, sometimes like the powder just kind of clumps up. Yeah, it clumps up. No, sometimes they also clump up in like little pockets. Mm -hmm. This is awful. Drink your protein. Oh, you said it wrong. That's okay, though. Drink your protein. I can't do it as well as you. No. This is going to turn into a Patreon movie moment. <laughs> is that is that okay for you? Wow, a little spark of blood somehow, some way. A little paper cut. Might be a paper cut. Or maybe she's just tired and sleepy, you know, she was just like, oh, doing a good job.
think it's here. Possibly. This fight needs to be shaken up. UFC main event, the ladies tried. Hmm. They tried really hard. Yeah, you're right about that, Mason. <laughs> you funny, Mason. You funny. I don't even see a lot of punches throwing thrown, so I don't understand how she could be eating a lot of punches if there ain't a whole lot of punches being thrown. This is really boring. Are you Russell Crowe? No. Mason may have been, uh, may have came to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's OTS. definitely, he's definitely OTS. Yeah. I thought David said might be two one moron. <laughs> In the non. I think Mason came around with another group of dudes. Uh, yeah. At the last time. JD was around. JD uh, gave us a shout out. You're also a VIP here, Mace. Yep, you have a nice OTS group in here. Yep. Mason, Jeremy. I think all of our channel members are OTS family yeah. people. Yeah, all channel members are OTS people. I really do appreciate you for supporting the platform. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, you got the gold mic. Looks like Blanchfield just doesn't respect the power. Coming back to her from Fior. And so now she's just like, fuck it. I'm losing the fight. Mm. Might yeah. as well just move forward. Brought you back to the dark side. Yeah. And we're happy to have you here. I'm sorry that there is also, an occasional bad card. Also, you get the uh, uncensored videos uh, on the yes. channel. So there are certain videos that we'll have clean versions of and then uncensored versions, and you'll be able to see that. Some videos were released early for members as well. So.
Well, they're actually fighting now. <sighs> yeah, you should check out um, Otis Mason. Otis was in here earlier, but he's at work right now. Yeah. Uh, but he, Jeremy, and another hand. Uh, she didn't even really try to land that kick. Did you see that? I'm not even paying attention to that now. Um, yeah, uh, Jeremy Otis, uh, Kratos, um, Hooligan, who is yeah, one Grimm of, is over there, Hooligan yeah, is there with them. Uh, he's one of JD's bouncers. Uh, the Guardian of Chaos show. is he normally hangs out in there too. Yeah, they do their own live stream. I'm just waiting for this to end. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, we, we're very happy to have you here. Very happy to have you here. And, you know, like, this is our 116th episode. So. Mm -hmm. We're pretty consistent on this. Yeah, and we do have JD to thank to uh, bring us back to the wrestling world. Yeah, because yeah, we were out of there for a long time. We weren't watching. You, know, you were out longer than I was, mm -hmm. and you were into it before I was. So. Um, I have nothing else for you because you fucking suck. Uh, very good question. Um, I will do my very best because the timing is going to be really crazy. We're going to be in another time zone as well. But we are going to try to uh, cover night one and two WrestleMania night one by myself. Night yeah. two with uh, UFC and uh and wrestlemania is the hope and night one i won't be there because i'll need to sleep yeah we will be five hours ahead we will basically be in the same time zone as tangent yeah pretty much um night two though <laughs> probably we'll we'll probably get like two hours of sleep and then have to wake up and run to the airport <laughs> and that might not be that bad we'll just sleep on the plane Yeah, how is she going to be tired if she didn't do anything for most of the first four rounds? Ooh. Jeremy, when's the um the official first video gonna go out? I know you have your intro video. 
probably still working on that first um, video. Yeah, this one. Yes, I just see the uh, Disney trailer. That was pretty cool editing. Gotcha. You should have an episode where um the little one is the co-host. And as he's giving his takes, it's just like baby battle. <laughs> That's all. And he's just like, where are the, you can't understand anything because it's being talked. But we will listen to him and agree and nod our heads with everything that he's saying because he's fine to do. And they like that. So, yeah. Have an episode with the little ones. Maybe the cameras. Yeah, we intend on getting uh, mm -hmm. Sony. Hopefully this calendar year. Hopefully. Yeah, to get a better camera. Um, like this camera is good, but when we do the live stream in the living room, it doesn't happen often. No, we have to be on a shittier camera. Yeah, the Sony would be best for that. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you're right, dude. I'm slipping on, slapping. I'm like, ooh, something actually happened <laughs> after 24 minutes. Mm -hmm. No, 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 we're not giving it to these two ladies, dude. There's nobody poke anybody in the eye to extend this fight. On only knows how to counter. That's it. And that's all she wants to do because she doesn't want to get wrestle fucked. That's the problem. So I'm trying for that flying knee. I get caught each time. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like the 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 prelims were better than the main card. Yeah, agreed. Since we don't give a fuck who won because we all lost, <laughs> um, I'm going to speak for Dan Jensen and say that I really hope that you guys all are safe out there in the real world. The real world. Um, could you see the WWE going the UFC route by putting advertisements at the Slim Jim, Snickers, C4 Energy, et cetera, on the ring? Yes, I can, unfortunately. But again, uh, guys, gals, um, I do appreciate all of you. We did make it all the way to the end. We made it all the way to the end. And we made it there together with no help. From the in cage talent. So yeah, that was uh, that sucked. Yeah. So 
All right. Well, again, um, please be safe out there in the real world. We'll have more content for you. Thank you once again to our new member, member, new member. Mason DeMaio and our stream sponsor, Jeremy, Jeremy. Lewis. And we are out of here. Good night.